you know, it's actually really sad. Yeah. Six generations in Charlie's family have harvested pearls and he can't now do it. It's quite an eye opener, isn't it? It is. You know, it's now Charlie is dealing in diamonds, sapphires, rubies. So yeah, Charlie's, he said, he said when he was in the building last, he was like, I'm not, I'm not coming back anytime soon. Unless anything changes dramatically, then no, I won't be back. You can't make pearls happen no. faster, can you? Well, here's Dave in Hong Kong. These are, there's a, there was a whole video of him talking to a pearl supplier. Look at the prices. All right, that's slightly bigger, but still, that's a South Sea, 21,000. There's your, t here you go. There's your Tahitian, slightly bigger, but look at the prices, and that's one individual pearl. And that was, was March, just gone. Um, here we go. A strand. For reference, mm. these strands uh, that we have provided with the colours that uh, that yours display are selling at fifty thousand dollars wholesale. So look at the one that's on your screen, forty-eight thousand. Remember that wholesale. So times that by four plus that for your retail price. So here we go. For reference, the Tahitian pearl industry has changed overnight. The whole harvest has been reserved for the next ten years. A genuine conch uh, necklace would be more affordable right now. Seriously, we've never, ever, ever seen anything like this before. So, no, in answer to your question, Susie, yes, we, the, the door isn't closed to him, obviously. It's always open to Charlie. Yeah. However, yes, for Pearls and Charlie, yes, it is, it's finished. Because he hasn't got them. He hasn't got the Pearls to actually offer our audience have a look on his social media page it's not pearls but we've got some here we have some here only a few there's five <clears throat> good luck everyone good luck everybody we are look the fact that we are we don't hesitate putting our pearl alongside pearls of that value i think we can't really tell the difference can you i would say no. their shot is closer to your shot closer so they're marginally bigger are they yeah marginally bigger like so head. yours is about uh, a nine to ten millimeter Whereas theirs are, what are they, 12? Sorry, 17, 15, okay, so oh, they are bigger. I would prefer your size. For me, I think that's more usable. More wearable, personally. Yeah, I suppose. Definitely. But you're still talking thousands of pounds mm. for Tahitian pearl, whatever the size. We're already jewelry makers at 999 pounds, but that's not your price. We're gonna do a huge, huge closeout deal. I know it doesn't make sense. Um, but it's the way we do business here at Jewelry Maker. We were able to, with our relationships with, with Charlie and of course trips over to French Polynesia and things like that, we were able to stockpile Tahitian pearls. Nobody foresaw what is going on right now in the pearl industry coming though. Had, you know, if we had a crystal ball, then obviously we would have yeah, bought loads of them. So. Yep. Um, loads and loads of them. We have literally just five available for you today. £299 is madness. I'm not sitting here saying that £299 is a small amount of money. Of course I'm not. But it is when you compare to what literally last month we saw in Hong Kong. We go to Hong Kong to buy pearls usually. This year we went to Hong Kong just for updates, photographs like that. It's like now, research, yeah. Yeah, research. The last five in the business... It is madness, isn't it? It is complete madness. Do you know, there are five available, that's it. I can see collectors within their baskets. Do you know, even before the current situation, when I worked in a jeweler's back in my early 20s, Tahitian pearls were not three figures. Mm -mm. Ne they never have been three figures. No. Seriously? We launched this amazing natural Genuine certified Tahitian pearl with Dave at £129. Today for the final five, this, uh, they have to sell out of that then because I don't want any evidence of this, this price jump. Okay, right, seriously. Kent, you'll want those two because we're going to take it under £100. We are over allocated. If you've got more than one, I only have uh, in your basket. I've only have five available, and there are lots of you with multiples in your basket. Now, this is ridiculous. We all know that, right? Yeah. It's completely ridiculous. We could have easily taken our Tahitian pills to Hong Kong, couldn't we? 
We could have taken them to Hong Kong, sold them into the into uh, you know at trade value, and yes, jewelry made would have done would will have done very well out of yeah. it. But what I always say uh, when I'm asked that question, well, why didn't you? Well, we wouldn't have much of a TV show then, would we? Well, that's it. And that's what we're about. It might well be one of the last Tahitian pearls that I ever get the opportunity to present to you. Oh, well, that's a statement. Isn't it? it is. It is. It is. Well, certainly for the next decade. Yeah. Certainly. We know that as a guarantee. Now, there are four separate collectors with it in their basket. All of you, at bar one, have got multiples. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Even when Tahitian pearls were accessible, it was ridiculous at £99. Well done, Kent. You take us down to three available. Can oh, Kent! Fair play to you. I bet that is a jeweler, yeah. Um, Kent has taken four, which means I've got one single Tahitian pearl opportunity. This is why we should be selling gold. Sorry. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. I agree. You know, this, this deserves to be on 18 karat gold. You could sell that on in a heartbeat at a significant profit, I do believe. Oh, I do believe. Look, that's just my opinion, but I do believe. No, I'm with you on that, Elle. Educate your customers. Tell them about what's going on with teas and pearls. That's the thing. We do educate the educated, don't yeah. we? We need to spread that word. Totally. Yeah. Um, there's Samantha, Heather, Jenny, Jane, and Anne. Oh. Jenny, I don't have six. I have one. I'll leave that last one with you. And may, another maker in Kent. Or oh, is that Kent getting the last one? I'm curious, Ross. Is that Kent again getting the last one? Mate, yes. Oh, yes. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. Should we do another closeout deal on pearls? How about South Sea? Tahitian? Faceted? This was a vision that Carl Fabergé had in 1910. And when he said, I believe faceted pearls are going to be the gemstone of the future, nobody believed him because they were thinking, what? Faceted? You can't facet it's a pearl. not possible. It's yeah. an organic gemstone. I've said those words on there. I said, oh, the only way you'll get that look is if you get like a, um, a shell like, pearl, yeah. which is reconstituted. Little did we know that actually, and it was a customer actually that mentioned to me about 10 years ago maybe, actually Elle, you can get faceted pearls. I was like, oh, okay, never, never seen one else. Fast forward to the current day, we have faceted pearls, but know that there is a handful, and I do mean a handful of people on our planet that have that ability. Yeah. Firstly, they have to be the best quality pearl. The nacre has to be fine because obviously with over 200 facets to the surface of your pearl, if you, you don't want it to sort of chip um, mm -hmm. in any way, shape or form. When it is faceted well, it will give you almost like a glass-like luster to the exterior of the pearl, like almost, almost a translucency, which sounds pretty odd when we're talking about pearls, but you'll see what I mean, what I mean in a few moments. So let's read this. In 1910, a French journalist who was interviewing Carl Fabergé asked him, among other questions, what, in your opinion, will be the popular jewellery of 100 years from now? Fabergé answered, faceted pearls. Of course, everyone thought he was joking. He could have said his own eggs, couldn't he? Yeah, he could, yeah. He could have said... <laughs> he could have done, but he didn't. He said, faceted pearls. Fast forward, reading on. Um, the AGTA, which is the, uh, um, kind of like the Oscars, of the jewellery world um, and they basically well you can see them there actually looking at some of the finalist pieces and they will award the best pieces of jewellery and gemstones um, in the industry one of their nominations was a faceted pearl piece so you can see with platinum honours um, faceted pearl this beautiful I can't work out is it a ring is it yeah I think it is um, is it a ring yeah I think so um, but again what a work of art the craftsmanship of the precious metal as well platinum yeah platinum ring featuring a black faceted uh, pearl Ooh. Katerina Perez wrote about it as well I'm not keen on that myself that's very different yeah very very it? different and also can I just say oh, we're amongst friends aren't we your faceted pearls are better they are actually better 
I, I do think so. The, 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 the faceting, the definition of the faceting is better. Anyway, a Japanese factory, uh, Komatsu Diamond Industry, specializing in diamond cutting since 1967, were the first to pioneer this technology. Their original goal was to find a way of sprucing up the, uh, the ordinary look in a coir. You can't call an a coir ordinary. No. However, I get why they're saying that. The um, a coir <clears throat> sales were dipping. Oh. So they wanted to give it sort of a new lease of life. Oh. Um, and in one of their experiments, they try applying diamond cutting technology to the pearl. It took 20 years to achieve the desired result. 20 years. That's some commitment, isn't it? Um, there are also um, exclusive exhibits showing off the work of pearl cutter, um, a field of which Viktor Tuzlikov is indisputably the master of. Look at those blue eyes. He's got the most amazing eyes, too. I watched, I watched uh, June the other day. June 2. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. He's got spicy eyes. He's got spicy <laughs> eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, um, and you might be thinking, okay, so he's the indisputed master of pearl cutting. Well, Victor has cut around 20 pearls. Oh. That's it, in pursuit of his uh, perfect symmetry, half of which can be seen decorating the jewellery of Russian designers, um, some of which he donated to the Russian State Depository and Kremlin Museum as a prime example of top quality modern jewellery art. Um, and two have found their way into private collections in America. 20 pearls he's cut in his, in his career. That's not typically where you class a master, is it? It's usually hundreds and hundreds. Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, it must be hard. Absolutely. <laughs> it is, it, it, well, there's 200 facets on each pearl. Oh. 200. I'm about to show you naturally coloured freshwater pearls where you have the three colours. See what I mean when I said earlier on, when they are polished, or faceted correctly, they almost take a, have this polished beauty about them. Almost look like they're coated in glass. Yeah, they're very special. Now, when we say close out deal, we absolutely mean it. That's a hundred pounds per faceted pearl, which is amazing already, yeah. isn't it? How about you get all three natural faceted pearls? all three for under 100 pounds today i have 25 available opportunities really sorry ross has just shocked me as well he said look we're nowhere near done he says so much so this is as much about trust we're not going to hint he says if you love them trust ross because you'll have a minute at this next price crash and it's crazy he says giving you plenty of warm warning before we bring it in onto your screens everything that we have just said oh yeah i thought 999 was your price is it not no way oh there's a lot of trust ross you will all check out in a matter of 10 seconds when you see this price tag in fact probably less good luck we have 25 available opportunities. You've got a minute at... Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, stop it now. That's just really naughty. Is that his head on the chopping block, maybe? Probably. <laughs> Jeez. Ross. Yeah, Ross. That shouldn't be that price for one. A minute on screen, he says, then you've got till nine o'clock. They'll never be that price ever again. They'll never be on air no. again. You'll never be allowed to bring them to air again. <laughs> ever. Wayne will be absolutely spitting feathers, won't he? Dave or livid? Livid, livid, livid. Although I've never seen Dave cross. I can't imagine Dave no, cross. No, I can't. I've, I've seen Wayne cross. I think that's a little bit scary, that. It's almost Hulk like. It's quite funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of cross, but he's still like jovial. Very At the same time, it. yeah. <laughs> he's still jovial. <laughs> oh, sold out. Six left, but oh, loads of you with it in your basket. Wrong. 34 of you have it in your basket. Wow. Um, Wayne, uh, wait, I called you Wayne. Ross. That's probably one of the most ridiculous deals you've ever done. 
that is really bad. You know that, don't you? Have you got any remorse about that? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. No. None whatsoever. Right, one more auction before I bring you a lovely little buzzy bees. You've got a little mini colony of bees. Oh, that's what, that was lovely. I like that. Did you like In that? All colours, I love it. Yeah, a little colony of bees <laughs> coming your way. And all the lovely colours. So they're coming up. You can shop ahead on those. Shall we do... Mm. Oh, definitely, definitely the carvings. Which one? Okay. Righto. You get both. This, put a head pin on, glue it into place. We've just done, well, Ross, Ross, no, no there's no we, Ross has done the worst possible deal ever. Best, as in best. <laughs> possible deal on a Tahitian pearl. Then did a massive closeout deal on, on a faceted pearl. He's like, I'm already in trouble. Should we do the same again on natural type A white jadeite carvings? You get two. Can you see those there? A game of trust. You get the pet. Look at those. That is glossy beyond belief, isn't it? Yes. Fine crystal wow. structure. I would just literally glue a head pin in that. Wear, turn them into earrings. Oh, see, I'd go a bit overboard and I'd loads of diamonds, a bit of gold, yeah. lots, of, lots of settings. Yeah, I'd be over the um, top. I would be over the top. But that's me. No. <laughs> I like the sound of that. We're at... We're at fifty pounds each, and we are no way near done. Says Roscoe. How many have you got, Ross? Twenty-five. I want to get these. How do you get both? You do get both. Oh. After this price, says Ross, you're not going to stand a chance. Really, I'm going to miss out. Um, hand carved type A natural Burmese jadeite. You get these beautiful stargazer lilies. We're going to do it in one price crash jewelry makers, and then you're going to have a minute. And after that minute, we're going to dive straight into your early bird jewellery makers. Everybody that has already confirmed, massive congratulations and thank you for your trust. You will not be disappointed, I assure you. This, Ross is saying, I'm going to, look, yeah, he says it's just stupid price. It is, Ross. It is. You've just got, where else in the world can you guarantee that you are getting genuine, natural type A Burmese jadeite, hand carved, for 15 quid each nowhere <laughs> and then on top of that oh if you've got those pearls 10 pound each they look great they look they'd be lovely in areas yeah they? they would <gasps> oh ross you change i would 100 percent do that yeah or as a ring they'd be Love lovely as a that. ring too as if type a jadeite carved of this quality I'm at 29.99. £15 each. £15 each, I know. It's you great. can tell when he's doing his crazy deals because his hair gets crazier and crazier, doesn't Does it? it? Yeah. He starts ruffling his hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know you do that, Ross? <laughs> you, <laughs> Sorry, Ross. You ruffle your hair. Oh, yes, don't forget we're going straight into your early bird. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, because we're about to join our beautiful little colony of bees. <laughs> Okay. Now we all know that bees are one of the most important species, well the most important species on the planet, aren't they? Yep. And I think the awareness that we have for bumblebees now is 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 is, is present everywhere. I mean, um I thought Elizabeth something, I can't remember her name, but she does these embroidered bags on I found stumbled across her on social media and she does like little makeup bags, she oh, does cute. sort of uh, um laptop bags and things like that and it's in a fed it's in a velvet and then everything every item that she sells she donates to the to the uh, um to the actual animals animals that they what speak beautiful that, that, woman. yeah it's lovely so um for the protection of elephants and she does one for turtles and she does one for bees oh, as well so beautiful but you think of all the designers that have incorporated bees gucci big ones yeah big ones yeah uh what's his name alex monroe Lily Rose, 
so many different mm -hmm. designers we're seeing it a lot in art aren't we as oh, well yeah. at the moment yeah everywhere you see them on buildings don't you People you do paint them on their houses sculptures i've yeah. got a pair of wellies jules wellies that have got bumblebees on. oh you big cutie i love it I've, and i love the that. fact that we are really supporting them now aren't we we're more aware of the Teach fact our children that and yes. how important they are and you look after them yeah definitely. absolutely i mean i read it was on facebook actually recently and there was um you know how they swarm when they're trying to find another and trying to find another home yeah and how not to be scared of them and apparently there was children in one area that had seen this swarm i don't know if it was last summer or whatnot but seen this swarm and they were really nervous and they were trying to squirt water on the bees to oh, shoot them away okay. and it was actually saying no no they they just they'll move they'll move their own accord yeah. they're just trying to relocating that's all it is but again the awareness that we have for bumblebees and our need to really protect them um and we can do that as well as jewelry makers by adding little additions like this That's into it. our Represent. designs yeah and they are cute aren't they, they are bees? very cute i do like those they'll blend in and, and then shine out yeah, yeah they'll do both. i love it now you get a pack of four we've got them in all three colors your own little mini colony now your first price crash we're starting with the yellow gold your first price crash they are detailed as well so if i just pop that down a minute you can see they have they have the little markings as well on his little butt look at those i like the simplicity of them as well because you can get the very intricate yeah but you can. can also get the really simple yeah really simple designs nine pounds and 99 pence that's not for one charm mind that's for four you get four of them and we are going even lower four little buzzy bees look at how beautiful i'm visualizing these something like, like only because i've got it here but like imagine mm. like a multicolored sapphire imagine those kind of nestled in there a bit floral yeah that's lovely yeah re like create flowers yes represent all the little flowers oh charm bracelet oh. and you'd have i'd have eight i'd probably have a full track of them you know that'd be lovely just jingle jangle or even that um along your decolletage like almost like a choker but yeah, a little bit longer lovely. yeah i would definitely do they're that a bit, they're a bit ashley clark as well aren't they i think mm. you know that kind of design well said. yeah um, like yeah a little those. bit ashley clark where it's not massively ornate but you know straight away exactly what they are don't yeah don't definitely because you? you look at alex monroe it's very detailed yeah very very detailed and that's not for everybody nope. i suppose um but it's a, a simplistic buzzy bee it's a, it's a subtle nod to something very important very important very you beautiful. can wear it yeah you get four we're not stopping at 9.99 seven oh. pounds and 99 pence that's two pounds per bumblebee charm two pounds unbelievable absolutely unbelievable these are and they're of the size i think as well uh, charlie that you could wear them in earrings you know if you were to put them maybe on maybe we spoke about bubble style yeah so yeah if you did like a bubble style of um or maybe you know, like Linda sometimes does, like the cluster. Like a, cla uh, a cascade. Yes. Yes. So and you could actually have them hidden in there. Yeah, that's they're it. Sort just of nestling in. for the Little pollen. Flash. Yeah, oh. I love that idea. My Tigatron is... Um, sorry, Tig Tiggy. Yeah, I love that. That's so cute. <laughs> My Tiggy's scared of bees. And again, we're going through this whole process of they won't hurt you. Yeah. Just, you know, they're, they're good. It's they're just good. sharing. It's just, knowledge is power, isn't it? And they are the investment for our future. So we need to we educate need to them on it. Yeah. And how cute to do that. You could do a stretchy bracelet for your little ones. Yes. And add a little bee charm <laughs> and encourage them to uh, be more affectionate towards something that sounds a bit scary. The last thing they want to do is hurt you, isn't it? Yeah, well, the that's last it. thing. Right. Let's bring you the rose gold. They're on the web. They're on the web. Okay, but I'll give you a little sneaky peek of them. There you go. There's little rose gold. Very beautiful. Um, now for the colour, which always, always goes crazy. It's all for the sterling silver. Again, you get four of your little buzzy bees, everyone. Um, we could stop. What do you reckon? Nineteen ninety nine. That seems like an amazing price tag for four sterling silver charms. Seven ninety nine. Not paying that today. Loads of multi buyers Ooh. getting involved on these as well. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know? Um, you could almost put them, you could buy little jars of honey, or maybe you make your own honey, maybe you've got your own hives, um, and you could do like a little stretchy bracelet. And yeah. You could go alongside it, and that could be your marketing. Oh, that's so cute. Nice little bee stretchy bracelet to go alongside it. Seven ninety nine jewellery makers. I'm more than happy, Ross, that's an amazing I would be deal. I'm very happy with that, yeah. Have definitely. we got quantity of the silver? Almost 200, but they are absolutely flying, if you pardon me. Uh. <laughs> 
They're not base metal. These are solid sterling silver. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Make sure you're checking out. There are tons of you getting involved. Um, there is somewhat of a, there's a hive of activity. <laughs> A buzz on the phone lines. <laughs> Love it. You are completely buzzing about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's so many, isn't there? It's a sweet deal. The, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, we're loving it. Loving it, loving it. Well right. done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your basket. Um, a minute to close, not just your buzzy bees, um, your four sterling silver charms, but a minute to close, absolutely everything in this hour, jewelry makers. So if you've got anything lingering in your baskets, then make sure that you do check them out. Um, yeah, uh, um, and encourage everybody, if you've got, a, if you're able to, little bee houses. Oh, yeah, definitely. Have those in your garden bamboos somewhere. bamboos snuck in. And yeah, yeah, you can make your own version. Yeah, there's some beautiful ones out there, but definitely make your own. Make your own. Yeah, yeah easy, easy, yeah. easy done. You're going to feel like, this is Adam's, by the way, you're going to feel like a queen wearing these. Hey! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Four ninety nine. We love the little buzzy bees. They're beautiful. So wait a second. Hang on, what was it? It's sixteen. For just over twenty pounds I can get I can get twelve charms. We're running out of time. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Don't go anywhere because I'm gonna make my way over to our lovely uh, Charlie for a wonderful kit hour. We'll see you in two. <laughs> Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheet will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Hi, I'm Charlie. I've been making jewelry for about 10 years. I started making jewellery um, really because I was actually quite good with my hands, I've always been quite good with my hands, uh, but when my children were young there wasn't enough money to spend lavishly on jewellery and some of the designs were so simple I thought I can make that. I started off wire wrapping 
and very quickly knew that I wanted to make something more rigid and more structured and um, because I take after my nana I do like sparkles so it was just a natural progression to work towards stone setting. Um, my favourite tool is a little bit like picking your favourite pet. Um, probably my handpiece actually, if it wasn't for my handpiece I wouldn't be able to do half the amount of work I have. Um, and I do like a good old hammer and rolling mill, who doesn't? I love jewellery maker because without them I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, and they offer opportunities for myself and other makers to be a part of something much bigger that would be typically out of reach for most normal people. Um, and such a whole world of gemstones um, it's very exciting and it, it's, it's where it's at for me. Welcome back. It's lovely Charlie, everybody. <laughs> I do love coming here. It's fun, isn't it? Oh, it is. And everyone's so lovely and there's always giggles. Oh, yeah, always giggles. So, That's yeah, I love being here. <laughs> yeah, just like the occasional word. It's very childish, really. But, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. Can't beat it at childish. And we're always so spoiled often. when we come as well. So. Oh, you've got um, tools oh, oh, coming up as well. Yeah. Well, talk us through these this amazing design. I love that you've titled it. You know, personalised ring. Yeah. Well, do you know? I just thought it can't have been a happy accident that I got a C. No. And I never get to make myself jewellery ever. It's just something that I don't get time for. So when I saw that and saw the peridot, I was like, wow, I'm making myself a ring. If that's not allowed, too late. So I just went ahead and made it. Yeah. Um, and I was sent the flaring tools as well. Now for me, I like a little flare, yeah. but I've also made it ribbon-like, almost frilly, a little bit girly. Ooh. So in the Should instructions, it'll explain that, yes. Um, so here you go. Here is the piece that, you can, that Charlie's referring to. Oh, Charlie, that's absolutely amazing. Can I turn it around yeah, as well? Yeah, of course you can. Because do you want. It's the detailing all the way around so okay now and there's the c for charlie now if you what sorry if you see this they're all going to be loaded onto the website so you can choose your gemstone so it's all about personalization which i think is why so many of us actually get into jewelry making yeah. is being able to personalize it and make one of a kind pieces so this can look at the texturing so go to the website you can choose your amethyst you can choose ruby you can choose oh, peridot um, emeralds yeah all your birthstones are on there so you can effectively customize your project now before we get into the um other rings yeah okay um which we're going to bring to you i also want to mention that you've got these amazing pearls coming up at the top of the hour again i kind of touched on it earlier on south sea pearls tahitian pearls the pearl market has gone completely crazy and it's had a huge effect on all varieties in terms of accessibility and price point we are going to do a massive massive deal on these pearls and they're totally and utterly natural metallic also which is very very rare yeah beautiful also we have sterling silver spacer beads in a bundle to bring you as well. Um, can you see those just at the front here? Yeah, there's absolutely masses in those little dish. Um, there's a pack of 100 wow. sterling silver spacer beads that we're going to do at another closeout deal with different designs. They're on pre-order. Is the other pearls on pre-order? <coughs> okay, both the pearls and the spacers are on pre-order as well, jewelry maker. So you can grab those. Okay, let's get into your personalised ring. You know, each of your purchases will come with Charlie's amazing... <laughs> Sorry, I just saw the width. <laughs> now, these are like £10 in our sister channel. You, I reckon you're talking about 20 for this book. Yeah, so this... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. If it if the project lends itself to it, I will try and give you as much option, detail, variation. Yeah. So there's loads of information in there. Modifying tools, how to do your beaded bezel. There's so much in it. Too much for me to demo today. So I'm going to talk to you about setting these stones. Um, 
So, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll get these with your purchase jewelry makers that you can keep, obviously you can file away for you to reference at any time. Um, and again, even, even down here, Charlie lists what, what you need to start creating this amazing piece. Um, piece of jewellery so you can see a few different tools now um, this is your 925 sterling silver wire written initial ring and you can choose your letter of the alphabet um, so again you can see 2.5 inches and that's obviously the thickness of the what will be the shank I suppose the length yes that's yeah, right the length yeah of the shank so if I show you Charlie I've got sorry to lean over Adam sorry about that um, so oh, you've got an E for L I've got an E Am I holding that the right way? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so it comes like so, and they're actually sort of bald. You can solder these, you can not solder these. Yeah, it's up to you. You can wear it on its own. I mean, I've obviously doubled up and used both. I didn't cut the ends off. I have done some sweat soldering to uh, solder it to the cigar style band. Um, dead straightforward, but if you need the instructions, they're there. There they are. And there's all your uh, letters. So you can choose which one. It's on a drop down box. Some of these letters are more limited than others, I need to point out. Um, F, particularly limited. E, particularly limited. H, limited. K, limited. Uh, Z, limited. Yeah, so you need to be checking out nice and early on these. Four pounds and 99 that. pence. Yeah, that took my breath away then. Fiver, um, fiver. It's going even lower. Really? Right? Yeah, it's going lower. Not even stopping there. Goodness me. There's 160 across across the different letters, but if you think about it, that price, goodness me, how lovely to be able to personalise a piece of jewellery for your nearest and dearest. Yes, that's it. With the birthstone as well. Yeah, yeah. Team it alongside because you basically you, you you can use the birthstones alongside the uh, letters of the alphabet. Yeah, of course. Amazing. We're going even lower. Can you believe that? H has just sold out. Jewellery makers, I can see that. That's just sold out. There are some which are single quantities available, so don't leave them in your baskets. Hello to you, London, getting two. Cheryl, Kate, Carol, Helen, Roz, Mary and Jerry, multi buying. Wiltshire, hello to you, Fiona, Samantha. Um, I can't keep up with you now. Hi, Roz, well done to you, Kate and Dorset, Maker and Wiltshire, multi buying too. You know, you can go, okay, what are your, your children's names, your grandchildren's names, your best friend's names, your partner's names? Yep. Ah, oh, lovely. And it means so much, doesn't it? That little bit of personalisation. Definitely. Well, you don't even need your own initial. You can have someone else's yeah. initial to wear to remind you of that said person. So, yeah, it's, it's quite a lovely little make, isn't it? Well, I love that. That's yeah, so I, love I that. think they're very cute. You could do, like, say something for, like, an anniversary. You could have both of your initials oh. together. Oh, that'd be lovely. I, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> I'm watching The Crown at the moment, do you oh. know, and, and Charles has just, uh, it's on the part where Charles commissioned that bracelet. I haven't watched it, so I don't know. Have you not, right? And um, he commissioned a bracelet um, with C and C instead oh. of C and D. Oh. Charles and Camilla, not Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So oh. um, that bit there, but anyway. Any Still a love story. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you could do it with your partner, your friends, whichever it might be. Three pounds and ninety-nine pence. Loads of multipliers. Loads of sizes Steel. are selling out. Um, so again, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, the ones I would say D is a bit more plentiful. I say a bit. They're all limited. They're all very limited, so don't wait. Um, we're going to dive into the demonstration, as always. If you have any questions for Charlie, then do text us, because um, we are live here in the studio. Don't forget your Spacer bead bundle. Don't forget your amazing pearls that are available on pre-order as well. Charlie, what are you going to show us, darling? Well, because it's because that the ring, it's quite a lengthy mate. I've put down an hour and a half, but it might take a little bit longer, and I thought, mm, I'm going to struggle to demo that. So, because it keeps coming up, personally, Yeah. With these adjustable rings with the burst downs, can I can I pinch that please? Of course. Thank you very much. There you go. So you'll notice that it's got this lovely little detailing around the edge of the bezel. So if you uh, want to set that oh, in your beautiful. usual fashion, um, you might end up removing the pattern around the edges. So what I thought I would do is make a supersized version. Nice. And show you how to Ooh. go about making I can't call it a seat really because what you're doing is removing material instead of adding to it. So I'll give you that back. So what I've done here is I've made myself a super large setting. And you'll notice 
that I've got a little mark at the top of my ring already. Now that is literally just to indicate to me where the solder seam is, so just ignore that for now. Now if you want to set one of these um, stones into this sort of setting but without using glue, I don't have anything against it, it just keeps coming up. So this is the easiest way I would go about it. Grab yourself a marker pen. Now this is gonna be slightly exaggerated because it's so much bigger and it is actually really easy to do on a smaller setting. So I would use a Sharpie or any other marker and just color in the inside so you can see okay. what you're doing. Okay. And then with your dividers, usually what you do is you drop your stone inside that setting and you can actually run your um, dividers around the inside of where the stone sits against the wall. So you'll actually get the mark there without measuring, but for the sake of demoing, we're gonna say it's about a mil and a half. I think that's about a mil and a half. So I am going to run my dividers across the inside edge. Can you see that little line? Mm -hmm. It's very slight, isn't it? If I go this way. And where that line is, can you guys see it? What so I would take taking away some of the pen. Yes. Yeah, so right. it's just so that you can see what you're doing and it also gives you a bit of a guide. Now, with your burrs, it works with a round burr. I've got a heart burr, but it does work with a round burr. Don't worry about it. So when you're setting your um, cabbage on, you would work north, south, east, west, and then fill in the gaps. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to remove the metal from the inside. So if I just turn it a little, I've already done it just there. Can you see that tiny little lip? I'm gonna have to make much bigger settings, aren't I? And with your burr, you want to mark with the north, go right in, and you want to go in as deep as your burr goes, which is only halfway. So when, you're, when the shaft of the burr touches the inside of the setting, that's when you know that's when you stop because you can't go any further than that you can do it with a setting bird but you'd have to have a more of an exaggerated angle when you go in so you're creating a pocket like a v-shape so you're burring on your north and then you spin it round and you're burring on your south and once you've done all those four corners you're then going to join that line up together and once you've removed all that material on the inside you would then come in with your uh, setting tool uh, i've not pulled it out and you would just literally push this metal all the way around. And because it's got that empty space, it's going to lock in over your stone without really any effort, to be honest. And you're gonna keep that lovely pattern on the edge of your setting intact. And it's the same way I've done it on the uh, ring over there. But on the, on the ring example that I've done, I've done a beaded bezel setting and with that, I'll suggest to get some beading tools, but in the instructions, I do suggest to get two. So just to show you that I do actually have two, it's, it's a setter's trick. I'm not gonna reveal it because, you know, I don't want, we don't want everyone to know, do we? Um, but when you come into it in the instructions, I'll teach you how to create that beaded setting, which is also in the afternoon's demo as well. In the rain dance piece. Yes, in the rain dance piece. So if you get this kit this morning, you'll be able to apply the same technique in the afternoon. What I will say is, because I've modified, obviously I ruin everything, don't I, and, and take something that's supposed to be like this and change it to something completely different. Before you open it out, anneal it. So what I've done is cut one of these shanks off, but I haven't, I've, I've annealed first, then cut it off because it's a cast piece and the last thing you want to do is to cause any cracking on the inside of the structure right so anneal it first and chop your shoulder shank, shoulder shank off and then obviously the instructions will go into how to do that more detailed so when you've got all your pieces together and you've done your bit of sweat soldering what have you i've added a bit of a flare to mine so with these tools you can, they come in two actually, so you, you've got, I think they come in two, do they come in two? Is that right, is it a set of two? I'm sorry Ross, throwing you all off. One's a larger, one's smaller. We'll just, we'll have, we'll have a little look Real. now. Um, one size is for, for a taller flare, so like a, a yeah. larger ring and you yeah, can flare it out nice. more. And then the same with the smaller, so you, if you want to make, say a really skinny, um, flared ring or even if you want to just encase say a rice pearl inside it or what have you but your your ring your ring blank is in here 
and you pop this on and you realize that actually these ends are meeting already just flip it over and use it that way around instead now when you come to use it I would clamp it in a vise and I would use my um, what they called my spanner and I would do a quarter turn so once you've got your little not on there all the way down and it's nice and tight I would do a quarter turn mm -hmm. and release that pressure and then I would do another quarter turn then I'd take it off and anneal it because the last thing you want is this where is it this is just a bit of scrap uh, last thing you want is your solder seam to pop open while you're working on it it's an absolute pig to fix so once you've done all of that work it does say that my ring's adjustable now it's not but what I would do is once you've soldered your sleeve together and you've popped it onto your flaring tool and you've made it all nice and round and you're finished you can saw back through it and pop it back open and just round your edges off so that it's yeah. nice and comfortable to wear yeah so that is just as straightforward as that but it's just a nice way to collaborate three different pieces into one unique piece now that's going to be well over 100 quid if i sell that to someone else or if it was a custom piece i'd charge more so it's just a nice thing to have and it also offers so when you use these um a long time ago when i first started making jewelry i used to make flared hoops and I used to sell that many of them, I got sick of it. So you get product fatigue and you get sick of making them. So just stop making them, took them off the shop. But they sell really well. So it doesn't apply just to rings. You can also make oh, big hoop earrings, earrings as well. Yeah. So that's what your tall I ones say, they good do for. sound really nice. Yeah, oh, and this is it. And if you put a channel of beads or a channel of gemstones wow. down the middle, like a track almost, super sellers. Yeah. I got sick of making them, I got sick of seeing them, but you're more than welcome to give it a bash because they <laughs> are good money makers. Um, and your larger um, flaring tool is really good for that, especially if you've got bigger finger sizes. Um, so yeah, I, it's a really, really short one. No. Because my me, me ring's too long to show you. Oh, do you know, do but, you know that's amazing though. And they can be, if you don't do sort of the soldering, etc. I mean, mm, you've got with these. Yeah. You, you could do a bit of gemstone setting. You've got an amazing that's piece of jewelry straight away. Yeah, and just set yourself the challenge. You don't, I mean, if you want, just do do it as you want to. I mean, I like to set my stones. Um, it just adds a bit more security yeah. and peace of mind. So give it a go. If you have a problem, let me know. It's actually really easy with these smaller settings because that joining north to south to east to west, it happens in literally a split second. Yeah. So it's really easy. And then when you push your material over your gemstone, it just folds in like a piece of paper. Super easy beautiful and then obviously you choose your gemstone yeah so if you're a december baby you've got turquoise if you're a june baby you've got pearls yeah. um you choose your gemstone we've got some lovely moonstone now these are all available on the website really 10 pounds so of which you get the adjustable ring and you get the stone of choice oh look at that they're gorgeous they're great and on their own i mean that i've gone overboard because i go overboard with everything but just on their own i think they're beautiful and i bet they would be uh, you know um top sellers oh yeah easy they fly they sell themselves yeah. you know especially when you put birthstone in the front of it they, they fly out and if you don't want it to be an adjustable ring i would just cut the bobbles off at the back yeah solder it solder shut it together. and then stretch it out well yeah and you've got the bobbles there that you can keep for another project because that's yeah. all precious metal i love the texturing on i know this. it's lovely isn't it yeah very gorgeous. very nice amazing absolutely amazing make sure you check it out your baskets as if they were that price ross as if 9.99 that's amazing um, if you go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, that, that's where you can source your birthstone. Also, if you click watch live, scroll down, you will see every single one of the birthstones. So on screens right now, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Uh, you know, it's not just any turquoise here. Sleeping Beauty I, Turquoise. They are tenor. Yeah, they are so beautiful. Every, every single stone. And you know, I didn't have to modify any setting. Really? No, not at all. They all fit perfectly. Yeah, they all fit lovely. They all dropped in nicely. If you've got one that's maybe a little shallow, just um, solder yourself a small little jump ring and then solder it into your setting to wow. raise the seat. But I didn't need to with any of mine. Now, they're all on the web as we speak right now. So you can shop ahead on your birthstone. Um, $9.99, every single one. Just choose the gemstone um, that uh, is tailored to you, effectively. You've got all of them. Emerald, turquoise, sapphire, 
topaz, sapphire, amethyst, citrine, ruby, garnet. You can actually turn them into an S clasp. You know, Ooh, like a, nice. like a, yeah, and just flip it around, make an S at the top and S at the bottom, yeah. and then turn it on its side. Yeah, so, so it becomes like a, a birthstone clasp. Mm, yeah, but, yeah, because there's a lot of silver in there, isn't oh, there? Oh yeah, they're lovely and substantial. Yeah, they they haven't skimped on anything. And I do also like if you cut the bobbles off, you can make them into hoops. So if you buy two sets of the turquoise ones, then you've got a lovely pair of Love individual that. hoops that no one else has. Amazing, and of course stack them up. Oh well, um, yeah, you can you can use gorgeous. them as intended. Now. Half hour away from your deal of the day, jewelry makers, all about um, the relaunch of your amazing sterling silver onyx Alhambra inspired strand. That's lush. It is a strand of silver. It's fab. It is absolutely amazing. Fab. The glossiness to it as well. There's 150 jewelry makers just giving you a heads up. You can make so much jewelry. You, look, look, I was watching. Um, Oh, what was it the other no, not Antiques Roadshow, but I was watching something the other day and there was a was a celebrity. <laughs> um I don't know, I can't remember which celebrity it was, but she was like sat and she had one single thorny oh, clover. Very classy. Yeah, very classy, and that's very. the thing, that's using one. So these will sell out. I'm so confident about that statement. They're coming up at ten o'clock today, they're beautiful onyx, sterling silver, by the strand is hundred and fifty. Um also don't forget your amazing metallic pearls. They are open for pre-order as we speak, so you can secure yours. There's only 20 though. Multicolored Ripple Edison Pearls coming up very, very, very soon. I'm spoiled. We've also got that massive bundle of space to be, oh my goodness, look at those pearls. There's only 20. These are the pearls that I am, bu I am buying up as much as, I as my budget allows. Really, do you know, I don't hear that very often, but Ross is like, have you got some of the Tahitians? Ross has just said, I'm buying these today if there's any left. It's a wise move. It is? Yeah. Because I don't want to sound frugal here, but I could literally buy those and sell them on straight away. Oh, you could. Yeah, definitely. I'm sitting on mine. Me too. Yeah. Me I'm trying too. to build up my collection, but I'm not selling them. No. I might do at some point. Maybe two for a pair of earrings just to recoup my money back. But other than that, yeah. they are for me. Same. Yeah. Same as with Cotan, I'm keeping yeah. I'm keeping all of that as well. Keeping them in your safe. Keep them in the safe. It's my retirement fund. And, uh, exactly. <laughs> at some point, at some point, I'll, I'll I'll I might have a look at it, and at selling them. Maybe. Now they're coming your way. Don't forget your sterling silver um, as well, jewelry maker. So there's loads to bring you. Still loads to bring you. Shall we do that gorgeous strand of sapphire that i teased you with this morning um yeah ross is saying i think this is one of the nicest strands in the entire company yeah i love these i don't disagree with you ross this is they're beautiful perfectly faceted oh hang on are we having a few a few technical glitches gremlins i'll show you in the meantime it will come up in today's show look at the quality of the sapphire now sapphire is not just blue of course you get your beautiful greens, you get your reds, your pinks. It's a kaleidoscope oh. of colour, isn't it? It's stunning. Colourless sapphire. I agree, Ross. I, I think I that might well be one of the nicest strands of sapphire I've seen. It, it is Burmese. I remember us launching it. There's 30 available. Not yet. It's coming your way. Look at that luster. Um, and it's a long strand, too. I tell you what, let's do a master carving, shall we, jewelry makers? This carving is absolute. Look at that. I love it. Isn't that it's amazing? So intricate. Got your money coins in there as well. Oh, is that what they are? These little rounds. Oh. Look at this. It's going to blow your mind. The carving on this. It's a high goo, of course. But you can get high goos which are plain. You can get high goos which are incredibly detailed, like this. Look at that. It's pure natural type a white jadeite look at that quality it's perfection isn't it symmetrically yeah it blows your mind doesn't yeah it? it is do you know i've just had one of those moments where it's kind of just dawned on me thinking l you are holding a type a jadeite natural burmese jadeite imperial white which was once upon a time reserved solely for the emperors of china nobody was allowed to wear the white one of the rarest colours, and I know that Ross is going to say something silly like close out veal. Oh. I knew it! I knew it! It is one of those moments though where you go, what on earth are we doing? You know? 
This is, and, and Adam said in my year, Antiques Roadshow, these are the Antiques Roadshow pieces of the future. They're the Antiques Roadshow piece of, the, of, of now. Let's show you the previous closing price, because remember the Burmese mine closed in 2020. That's hundreds of years. 800 years of mining, gone. Gone, done. So even to be bringing it to you at £199, which is its previous closing price, this is not just carved on the one side, it's carved front and reverse. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, I've got to say that is quite special. The little money coins and you've got this details all the way around. Flip it over. Look at that. That's some epic skills right there, isn't it? Yeah. Who is the genius that did that? An artist. Oh, yeah, definitely. A master carver that has perfected those skills over multiple, multiple, multiple decades. Previous closing price, <coughs> excuse me, £199, which is unbelievable. How many do we have, Ross? Ten. Okay. Exactly ten available. Totally natural. When you think that this is a gemstone that is physically as hard as steel, and it's still carved by hand in an abrasive manner. Oh, just yeah, mind blowing work. huh it's very mucky work cutting stone yes i bet i want to buy this ross yeah i, I want my money though yeah i'd like said not it maybe even set a diamond in the yeah, center or something too. like that yeah me too 99 pounds and 99 pence and you might be thinking a oh wait hang on a minute well just just for kicks let's do it let's do it i don't know what the stone is i'm picking up but here we go You get the idea. Oh, well done. Or would you completely contrast it maybe with a ruby? Would you it's go for popping, something like, it? yeah, beautiful. Would you go with a citrine? Do you see what I mean? Oh my goodness, that would be absolutely incredible. And again, you could almost set the exterior then. Yeah. Unbelievable. We have half the original amazing launch price. This is uh, Type A Burmese Jadeite with your Imperial White. I'm going to get some of those afterwards. The split pay was fab on that, wasn't was it? it? What, what was it? I think it was 24 99 Was that oh, right? Did I read that split right? pay. Goodness me. Um, okay. Let's do a strand of Burmese jadeite, shall we? Now, these are a recent launch, actually. We haven't had these in the bowl for very, for very long. Um, the reason why we really see particularly Burmese jadeite or Kotan, for example, in a cut like this is because when you're working with something that's, that is as rare and valuable, price per carat, as jadeite, um, the carvers are quite somewhat um, re resistant to actually double drilling them. Oh, are they? Yes, yeah, because you cut and carry weight away. However, us as jewelry makers like those double drills because there's further opportunities. Um, so this is a new addition. Look at the quality of the colour. You know, imagine that. If you can't wear a bangle, if you if you know if you love the idea of wearing a jade bangle, but maybe it's uncomfortable or the size doesn't suit, um, then this is a fantastic alternative because literally just put that onto your elastic and you're making high end jewellery. I would imagine it feels lovely against yeah. the skin, very cooling. Absolutely. Screams summer, doesn't it? Yeah, you perfect. The kind of piece that you can put on and never take off. Holding a mai tai somewhere. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Perfect apple blossom green. How many do we have? Thirty. Okay. Let's put this on the wrist so you can see. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I bet that feels lovely against your it skin. Does. Doesn't it does. Like you said, it's nice and cool. Yeah, and then with the rounds as well, that must be quite a. Doesn't catch. It just. No, it's it's, not. it just Oops. is. It just is. It perfect just is. as it is. Yeah. Um, effectively, you're getting two strands. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're sourcing the rounds and you're sourcing um, the rectangles. Now, we're going to do a massive deal for you, jewellery makers. Um, yeah, just you know, sort of working our way towards the beautiful Alhambra-inspired deal of the day that's coming your way. Don't forget the sand and scan. Don't forget those amazing pearls. We've got loads to bring you in today's show. Also, don't forget the green Cotan jade that we're bringing to you at a close-out deal. The mine close. We say 800 years of Burmese jade, right? 10,000 years history of Cotan. It's in two you can't years. Can't fathom it. Can no, you? no, exactly. Um, and we're basically seeing in the next last two two years. That's coming your way. Get Cotan while you have the opportunity. We're at 199 pounds 
for natural type A jade eye. Loving that. The simplicity. It's almost Morse code, isn't it? Do you see oh, where I'm coming from? Yeah. Look at the quality of those colours. So you're getting what? Two, four, six, eight of the rectangles. And then you're getting, let's count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen rounds. We used to sell these by the little parcel, didn't we? Like your the rounds, you get a little parcel of six or fives or sixes. Yeah, absolutely. Now you're getting what fourteen, and then you're getting these huge sizes, which could easily be used as a cabochon. Oh yeah, yeah, good shout. It's not. Let's not forget those moments when we first introduced the quality of jade that you're seeing on your screens. They were little tiny parcels. That's how most people actually purchase this gemstone. Small parcels. Look at the carrot weight. 100 carats you're getting this opportunity. And a ridiculous £49.99. £49.99. Remember when we're talking about your jade, we're talking, it's not the four C's like you would uh, um, <coughs> assess most other gemstones, not all. Um, but it, it's about translucency, so how fine that crystal structure is. An indication that this is fine crystal structure is the fact that it literally looks like a, um, a melting ice cube. They mm. refer to the water content. Plus then they talk about the lovely colour. This is an amazing apple blossom green. Um, and then the carving of it, the cutting, the artistry. £49.99. We are going to put a 60 second clock on your screens to close this because that's far too low. 100 carats of this quality. Use the drill holes if you wish or treat them as cabochons. It's up to you. I'd be quite tempted you do those double bars, don't you? It's a yes. bar with two drill holes. So yeah. I'd like to take the rounds out and use the rounds around the back of your wrist. Nice. And then have the bars in between the, the square rectangles. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, just they could almost bonking. be connectors as well, couldn't they, with that oh, double yeah. drill? Yeah, or like a bolo style. Yeah. yeah, lovely. Oh, great idea. Lovely. In 33 seconds, we've got to move on from this because the price is frankly ridiculously low. Um, again, make sure you check it out, your baskets. When they say 10 centimetres, though, it's more than that, isn't it? It because you've you've got the rounds in between yeah definitely. If that makes sense and they've measured the rectangles from the skinniest point haven't they yeah that way to that way so yeah i would agree unbelievable make sure you're checking out everybody june wiltshire marishka lincolnshire and june in hampshire again make sure you're checking out your baskets new customers london getting involved well done um how, we didn't have many of these did you say ross okay make sure you're checking out everybody to guarantee yours um, okay, remember the pearls, remember the pearls. Again, this is one of those opportunities if you are a pearl lover like so many of us are. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm a glass, uh, uh, um, glass is half full kind of girl because we could look at this and go, oh my goodness, the price of pearls has gone through the roof. Yeah, it has, which is a problem if you firstly don't shop the jewellery maker and secondly, if you if you are looking to get pearls of this grade and you don't have us here then it's an issue it's not an issue if you shop with us mm -hmm. because we bring you the prices pre pearl frenzy i'll talk some more about that um get pearls now if you are a pearl collector because unfortunately we our accessibility to pearls which has always been amazing over the years over the 14 years that has changed. We can't buy pills like this. There's only 20 available. Shop ahead and pre-order. Um, that's coming up. Um, and don't forget also your sterling silver spacer B bundle that we are bringing you to, where you get 100 um, different designs. They're metallic. We've casually missed that letter off, that word off the um, off the graphics. You know, from a harvest of 10,000 cultured pearls, less than 10 of them will be naturally metallic. They're almost space-like, aren't they? Yeah. They've got wonderful colours unbelievable i want to buy those um okay let's do what sorry the sapphire we're doing it now ross is saying and you've got us we've got a lot of sapphire in our vault we have that sounds like yeah, we've got a lot of sapphire. <laughs> no but we have it's a gemstone that's quite easy to get hold of at the moment not necessarily this location however this quality not so much um but for us for, for us to say that quite possibly is the best strand of sapphire that we have in our entire business and there is I don't know if I'll get thanked for saying it. <laughs> Millions of pounds worth of stock in our vault. There is. Oh, I'd love to go and have a nosy. Eh? And me. Right. Blinded. You'll see why we've made that statement. Look at the quality of this sapphire. 
Look at those blues. I, I mean, those blues are perfection, aren't they? Stunning. It's like a skyline, isn't it? You've got all the colours. Completely natural <clears throat> Burmese sapphire. Every colour, even down to the colourless. You've got pinks, you've got yellows, and you have the perfect cornflower blues. Ah, oh, purples. I see yeah, like little rare. purple shades here. Purples is one of the rarest colours of sapphires. Unbelievable strand. The I quality didn't know it came in purple. Didn't you? No. Yeah, it's very rare. Very, very rare purple sapphire. Up there with your Paparazzi sapphire. Mm. Look at that quality. I agree with you, Ross. I think this is quite possibly the best strand of sapphires we currently have in our bowl. Um, it's totally natural. It's not fisher filled. Um, I agree, I agree, Ross is saying, look, would you agree there's red on that strand? Yeah, definitely. So they're Burmese rubies then. <laughs> and that's all very much in the eye of the beholder, you know, whoever has actually graded, um, usually the gemologist that's looked at it and says, right, they're sapphire. So th the only difference between a very deep pinkish red sapphire, um, let's put two together if you like, is the eye of the beholder. It's just the amount of chromium that's added. So a, a pink sapphire will transform into a ruby if there's more chromium in it. Oh, I didn't know that. You did did you not? That? No, did no, you not I learn that? something every time you There on. you go. It's, so for me, they are Burmese rubies that you've got in there. I wouldn't describe that these, for example, as, as pink. I would describe those as ruby reds. Yeah, yeah, yeah? definitely, yeah. So this one here, yeah, that's yes. pink. So that's a pink sapphire. These ones here, Burmese rubies. 100%. It's just almost like making a glass of cordial. Just a little bit more chromium. Right, that's gone from a sapphire <laughs> into a ruby then. I love it, it. It's that simple. Right. Natural. Certified. Burmese. Ross is saying, I genuinely believe that this strand, the quality of these blues, should be here. He says, I'm more than comfortable. Yeah, there's four. How many people do you know own 45 carats of Burmese ruby, uh, sapphire? Not many. Can't think of any. No. With those colours. Do you know what? See, look, look at that one blue there. That one there. The price we take this strand to, I'd be happy to pay for that one Burmese sapphire. Yeah. We're going to do this in one more price crash. And then we'll put 60 seconds on your screen because there's only 30 available and the price is ridiculous. Are you ready? Get your certificate of authenticity. Be quick, because when you see the price, they will not hang around. We all believe that this quite possibly is one of the best, the finest strands of sapphire that we have within our vault. Possibly ever. Are you ready? You've got a minute at this next price. Forget 99.99. <clears throat> Oh. oh my goodness. Are we going to a break after this? <laughs> yes, silly. Silly boy. What on earth, Roscoe? He says, that's why I think this is one of the best strands in the business. The quality, look at that. The location and uh sorry the treatment the fact there is none and the price what on earth it's it's natural it's not diffused it's not fissure filled it's not even heat treated look at that do you know what you know at that price you would expect this to be sort of hugely diffused wouldn't you and maybe a short 15 centimetre oh, yeah. strand. Yeah, it would Not be, yeah. the case, it's natural. Do you know less than less than 5% of the world's sapphire is natural? Oh, really? Most of it is treated in some way, shape or form. You've just got some of the 5% for 25 quid. Chris. I'm actually blown away. Me too. Well done, everybody. That is going to sell out. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Don't forget your spacer beads, everybody. They're coming up. You get a pack of 100 of those spacer beads of different patterns also oh, they're amazing i aren't know they? aren't they i'm dying to put them on <laughs> yeah or do you want to go on then go on go, go on. on go on there you are. are oh my goodness charlie they are stunning aren't they thank you 
I love the feel of them. They're very natural, aren't they? They're very, they feel like I should be in a ball gown. You know, they make you, like you said last time, you lift, you hold your head a little bit higher when you're wearing pearls Don't like you? this. Don't you? I'm not used yeah. to this, left, right, left, right. They feel divine, <coughs> don't they? Amazing. Get your pearls when you have the opportunity, um, especially naturally metallic pearls like yeah, this. The definitely. price has gone through the roof. Um, <coughs> it's one of the gemstones, one off, like I said, Kotan's coming up, Burmese jadeite, I mean Burmese sapphire that you've just seen. It's one of the gemstones that I'm most definitely buying right now. And I asked the question to, um, I ask the question whenever I get the opportunity actually to like your gem investors like Jake, like Dave. I was like, what gemstones are you trying to buy right now? You personally, for your own collection. Oh, okay. Yeah, Good and, questions. You know, and, and Burmese gemstones are often uh, sapphires, rubies, definitely pearls, jade. They're the obvious ones. They are the obvious ones. So we're going to yeah. follow that lead, aren't we? Absolutely. That would make sense. Coming up, they're available on pre-order as we speak. <laughs> up next. Oh, I love these. The Morse code strand of sterling silver. I got some of these. I love it. And we talk about personalization, which is big everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can get pictures personalized, can't you? Mugs, all sorts of stuff, can't Candles. you? Candles. Jewelry is fab. Jewelry, absolutely. The fact that you can write a little message. I don't know, you might have a, a nickname. You might have a little little saying or a quote that you, I know, I'm not gonna ask, <laughs> but there might be a little little quote or saying that you say to one another and you could put it in Morse code. And Carol it's likes snotty words, doesn't she? She tends to Present get to Carol. Yes, yeah, she well, tends to opt for four letter words. <laughs> does she? Yeah. That does not surprise me at all with our Carol. <laughs> I love it, love it. <laughs> yes, you could swear on them. Uh, on your Morse and code gift jewelry. it. And gift with it. With love. With love. <laughs> I wonder if the penny drops. I know. Can probably you not. not. <laughs> You're wounded, aren't you? Are they going to Google it? <laughs> you wouldn't want a present from her again, would you? Like, oh, yeah, cheers, Carol. Uh, nice one. I love this. It's a strand of solid sterling silver in your Morse code. Um, so they are precious metal. Yeah, you've got to think about it. What, what, what naughty words would you actually put? Oh, I don't know. I can think of a few, but obviously not for too, TV. Too many to say, Not yay. TV broadcastable, obviously. <laughs> Maybe after nine o'clock. Oh. <laughs> make sure you're checking out i love these i love the idea you've got a nice uh, drill hole in the center so yeah i mean we brought you morse code uh gemstones didn't we and jade mm. and i made my husband a little stretchy bracelet he wears it every day i wasn't oh. expecting him to to be honest oh. um but yeah really simple with jade it just says i love you on there oh but if, if i actually like engraved that i'm not so sure he'd be as keen to wear no, it no it's too out in there. your face yeah almost. a bit out there yeah. maybe but something that's uh, that's written in morse code he would that's not what i'd put on for my husband no <laughs> <laughs> I'm so intrigued, dear, like of all the nicknames that everybody would put into their Morse code. There's a yeah. few, isn't there? There's a few, yeah, there is a few. Um, or it might be a little mess, a little word to yourself, you know, relax, breathe. Reminder. Take, you know, yeah. a little reminder, because life is crazy. Pardon? I did, I did. I turned it around to something, you know, sentimental. Lovely. Yeah, <laughs> something nice. Um, we launched these. Yes, you're right, Roscoe. We did. Three grams of solid sterling silver. They absolutely flew on launch. And we were actually showing you the... If you Google it, you, there's just the different letters of the alphabet in Morse code. So you spell it out, basically. And you even got, you've even got uh, um, numbers, etc. So you could put maybe anniversaries punctuation yeah in morse code you could yeah you could do i don't know you could do um dot 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 you could do your nickname with an exclamation dot, mark dot, couldn't dot, you dot dot <laughs> dot, hey, dot are you what, dash what are you what i can't say it <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody play that back and find out <laughs> find out what charlie has just spelt out 39.99 for a full strand of sterling silver morse morse code um yeah we launched these and look and i can show you a few examples oh, my cute. person i like that that's nice loved blessed yeah, well blessed i like that 
soulmate, soulmate forever. forever. And it, to other people, it just looks like an arrangement, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But to the person that, that received it or is wearing it, it's something much more sentimental, isn't it? I love that. Big gram weight of precious metal. It's got a lovely um, uh, texture to it, hasn't it? Yeah, they're, they're I, stardust. I, I think I'd prefer that. Like almost little tic-tac shapes. Yeah, oh yeah, they are. Team. Team. Another one. Oh, that's a Team. nice one. And you can all wear them and you can incorporate your children and everything, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, see, that would be lovely. You could even do it as a necklace. It doesn't have to be a bracelet, no, does it? No, that's true. Have all the kiddies on there. Yeah, do you know someone that's going through a particular hard time? You or could, a pet's you know... name. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably know? have my pet's name on there. We're at £19.99, but it's not where we closed. Yeah, I would probably make one with Brutus's name on there as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Tom always says to me, if they were, Elle, if there was not joking about this he goes if, they, if, we, if there was a fire in our house you would save the dog before me wouldn't you <laughs> yeah i think i'd probably do the same and it's like that um uh, uh do you want a cup of coffee no. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at him though look look at him um 19.99 but we're not stopping there susan and brian as multi-bought deborah carol ren fuchsia michelle shelley beverly maker valerie i bought these on the launch i love them i absolutely love the fact that you can make something so personal you know you you, you just think about your network your circle of friends or um or family you know my best friend's recently opened her own business and mm. it's tough at the beginning isn't it yeah oh really, yeah really 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 tough initially it's like you know you could do sort of a letter a word of encouragement encouragement keep going yes, you can push, do this yeah, definitely. and then she can wear it and look down and there it is £17.99 in solid sterling silver three grams of sterling silver oh yeah there's loads of things you do you thing. yeah why not be individual <laughs> individual <laughs> you know um i don't know i mean i call willow little peach oh so you could have peach on there oh that's cute tigatron i was gonna say tigatron might be a tricky <laughs> uh, one to spell tigatron 17.99 jewelry makers you know and, and and then for children i think it's a great great idea because you know school is tough now isn't it, is, it? it's yeah. really really yeah, tough so you could actually do a little bracelet for them um again with something encouragement or yeah. supporting have you seen those little crocheted potatoes and vegetables no and it's like i might be small potato but um i believe in you or something like that it's little positive potatoes <laughs> that you put in their pencil cases and things like oh, that really? it's oh, cute. That's cute i don't know it's not actually a potato it's crocheted <laughs> It's a. It's called a positive potato. Yeah, they're cute. No, they're really, really, really cute. <laughs> yeah, in my days, I would have got a spud, an actual yeah. spud, maybe just the written on with one, a, written on with a sharpie pen. <laughs> you know, the one that's sprouting. Um, <laughs> Seventeen ninety nine. June Maker, Deborah Davinia. Hello to you, Valerie, Susan, Geraldine, Deborah, Carol. Oh, we're a sentimental bunch, aren't we? Lovely and sentimental. Love that. For Ross, for example, you would just put, you are the best. <laughs> oh, you I am the best. Oh, right, you're making it for yourself, are you? So, okay, he's making it for himself, so he's just like, I am the best, because he's very <laughs> humble like that. I am the best. He's so modest, isn't I know. he? <laughs> he says it regularly. Oh. Says it regularly. You know, oh. Adam, he'd, have, he'd make one saying, handsome Adam. Oh. There you go. He is, a, he is a gentleman, isn't he? He is a gentleman. Such a he gentleman. Is, he is a gent. Would you, uh, for, for Dan, I'd put blue. Right, again, don't forget about these amazing pearls, jewellery makers. Um, <sighs> there is 20 available. The quality of these are on another level. They're coming up in one more auction's time, but not before we bring you the spaces, um, of which you get, sorry, me reaching over, of which you get a huge selection. I like the fact, I don't know, Charlie, do you remember... How long have you shopped with jewelry maker? Do you remember? Almost from the beginning. Have Almost, you? yeah. Not the very beginning. I was a little bit late on the. <laughs> I'm always a little bit late. Um, but yeah, back back in the day. You stumbled across us, did you? We did, yeah. Bouncing the baby on your knee and you know changing nappies yeah, and moving up the do. rusk biscuits and all that. Yeah, as you do. 
Now, the reason why I say that is because I remember when we used to do Space Abuse by packs of 10. Yes. I remember we didn't do Space Abuse at all. Yeah. And they were in little findings packs, the little black chiffon bags. Do you yeah, remember those? Yeah. And you got maybe three or four. Um, but they were more crimps. Then we're like, oh, what a great idea if we were to sell them in packs. Yeah. So we did 10. Yeah. And then we did 15. And then we did 20. And we're like, okay, that's lots, that is now. <laughs> and we were selling them normally around 14 95 Right. You're getting a pack of 100 sterling silver spacer beads, of which, I don't know if you can see, they're, they're all different. If I scooch them to the front, Dan, can you see that? How many designs is there, Ross? Four different designs. Here you go. You get a pack of 100. So there's your four. Three millimeter, and you can see, if I pop the tweezers behind it, the different patterns. So you've got the plain, you've got the stardust, you've got this diamond cut, and then you have this almost kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it, like a sort of flower-like detailing on the side. There's the three, the four design, sorry. 100 sterling silver, 25 each, yeah? Oh, brill. That's good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is a good amount. Yeah, very usable. Because 10 for me won't go very far. No, no, no. And you use a lot of them, don't you? That's yeah, the thing you I do. used to have to buy packs of five yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Now, I tell you what, jewelry makers, look at the gram weight. Five grams, five and a half grams of sterling silver. Sorry, five and a quarter. How about ease of maths a quid each? Pound for a sterling silver decorative bead. Elsewhere, that's what you'd be paying, yeah, definitely. Yeah, seems fair. Yeah, yeah. Seems fair. Especially the diamond cut ones. Ignore that. How about a giant leap of a price crash? Oh, I just There's 100 that. here, Ross. I don't know how we do this because the price of silver is not less. Oh, no, 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 no. Price no, of no, silver no, no. is much more these days. Yep. How many have you got? If these don't sell out, I will absolutely be stocking up on these because it's ridiculous to even be suggesting going lower than twenty four ninety nine. What is that each now? Twenty five, of course, twenty five p. Twenty five p per spacer bead. That's fab, isn't it? And like you, I use a lot of them. Yeah, you do. You don't realise how many you use until you run out. Yeah. Like, oh, I've actually used quite a lot yeah. in that piece. There used to be one of our. Uh, there was there was a time when spacer beads used to be one of our biggest sellers. Like as a as a team here at Jewelry Maker, it was always like, oh, we got any spacer beads in today's show. It, you know, it was like one of the star. Thing. Yeah, one of the star products, and they still very much are because you think about it. There's so many different. It works with every medium. You can use them as an alternative to a knot, for example, on your pearls. Mm. You can use them as punctuations, maybe like uh, you know our sister channel will do on diamonds. Um, but they're not just a spherical bead. You've actually got detailing in this as well. I mean, we showed you um, not so long ago a simple sterling silver beaded bracelet from Tiffany's. That oh, was, of yeah. course, at a Tiffany's price tag. In silver, Very much which so. you could make and then some. Never mind twenty four ninety nine. Ooh. Never mind nineteen ninety. This is silly. Who launched these, Ross? I've not. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I swear. Oh my goodness me! We went lower. <laughs> what? I was there. <laughs> okay, I tell you, honestly, I've slept since then. It's so a blur. My, I have got a terrible memory. Nineteen ninety nine, and we're going even lower. Look, you get four different designs. I'd pay nineteen ninety nine for for the twenty five. Do you see where I'm coming from? Oh yeah. For one of those designs, you can make that Tiffany's design, and then some. To be fair, with multiple left over, you could put a little bumblebee. Yes, that's a nice idea, Roscoe. He, he, um, is he is the best. He is. That's why. <laughs> Don't agree. <laughs> Do you know what, Ross? I am going to make you a Morse code bracelet that says that, you know. Another 30 seconds, because I don't think people realise that we are going lower than 19.99. You're not paying that price tag. We're at 20p per sterling silver spacer bead. 35 have gone. That's half the stock. I'm not surprised. We're already far too low. Far too low. 
four designs. I don't know why it needed a change of tone. I don't know. Like who? Did I? Sounded like Patrick Stewart. Oh, I don't think you did. <laughs> did I? <laughs> okay. Isn't he off Lord of the Rings? Uh, no. I can visualise him, but I can't think of what he's been in. Yeah, what's he been in? <laughs> Star Trek, that's it. <laughs> oh, look at the price. Brill. We used to do packs of 10, 15. Yeah. For, the, for not far off that price. Yeah, you'd be paying that. That price elsewhere. You wouldn't be paying that price elsewhere. Well, you say this a lot, Charlie. You know, when we have to source... And we do sometimes, it's fine. So yeah. I have to. It I've happens. got an account with our with our competitor Cooks and Gold. Yeah. I have because there's items that they sell that we don't and, and they're fantastic. It changes so fast here. Yeah. So I have made the mistake of leaving stuff in my basket, going yeah. off to do the washing up, forgetting poof gone and it don't come back for ages. So no. yeah, you but they you, wouldn't be seventeen ninety nine, no, would they elsewhere? No, you offer s silly prices. <laughs> For a hundred, <laughs> that's one hundred spacer beads. I definitely get a few packs of those. I actually need some. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I always need some. <laughs> yeah, that's well. You're not alone in that. It's spacer beads, head pins. Yeah, clasps. You know, clasps. Yeah, these are the, always the things yeah. that are designed. And the crimps, needing. the crimps as well. Never have enough of those. Yeah. I did think you could actually, because some people like to put a stop at the end of their Morse code letters, don't they? You could use a contrasting yeah, sterling nice. silver, so it blends in. Yeah. But it does, and maybe if you do um, a saying, like you said, a phrase, "I love you," you could put one of these at the end. Otherwise, of the, yeah. it's just "I love you." Yeah. <laughs> just never end it. You could shout it at him. Yeah. I <laughs> love. <laughs> You. Yes, full stop. <laughs> full stop. So all of a sudden, usually punctuation becomes a little bit more aggressive, doesn't it? Yeah, love that. Quint quantity remaining um, eleven, so you can get these and the Morse code spacers for less than forty pounds. Sterling silver. You love, love it all the way to the bank, aren't you? Or you could do kind of like passive aggressive things, couldn't you? Washing on the stairs is to be taken up. <laughs> you could do those, couldn't you? Socks don't live on the floor. No. Yes, you could do all those. Pick up your towel. All those things. <laughs> Shut the drawers. <laughs> Why do you leave drawers open? Yeah. Oh, Why? you could. I like it. this. I like this idea. Do you know? I reckon you're onto something here. This could be a big seller. Take the bins out. You bought me flowers last year. <laughs> Love it and swap them, <laughs> swap them around. Um, down to the final seven of these. Well done, everybody. Um, there's just five left. There's way more than five of you with it in your basket. It's all around the world getting involved as well. I'm not getting um, any of them, am I? I don't yeah. think I'm going to get any of the sapphire as well either, am I? Yeah. Did that go too? Yeah, no. it's got to bring your not phone into the studio. It's a black hole in here anyway. I and know. I'm not fast enough. You guys are so quick. I know. Wishlist it. Wishlist it. That does, you know, they'll come up on the wishlist. Now, jewellery makers. I know that producer Ross, he's got his eye on these and I think it's a very sensible purchase, to be honest. He says, I, I'll make a deal. I will only purchase them if there is any left at the end of this auction. So that's more than fair. That's quite kind of him, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, Restraint. Now with pearls, it's the five virtues. So we talk about their size. These are huge. We talk about shape. One of the most sought after in a Baroque pearl. Then we talk about colors. You can dye pearls, of which these aren't. These are totally natural. Then we talk about nacre. How abundant how thick that nacre is which leads very nicely into the fifth virtue which is of course your luster how mirror-like is that beauty and that's the most important in my opinion if you can have the most amazing huge pearl naturally colored lovely shape but if it lacks luster then it's just me so you have the luster is so exceptional on these that they are actually metallic pearls uber rare we have a quantity and it is a quantity when we're talking about pearls. However, it's not going to be enough in, for our jewellery maker audience. So be quick. True jewellery maker price in a style buy. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, let the cat out of the bag, but I will say... I've asked producer Ross then, you heard me. I did, I did. I was like, what are these going to, Ross? And he just said, and I said, that's crazy. 
Because I remember, never mind the current Pearl situation, because we all know the current Pearl situation, but rewind five, six years maybe? I don't know, don't quote me on that, but rewind a significant time ago. We used to do pearls like this, metallic pearls, strands of this length. I remember them vividly. Do you remember these, that guys? They were about that long, weren't they? That's a full 38 centimetre strand. Pearls are more expensive now when you have entire harvests of certain locations around the world that are bought up for the future decade. Can you imagine that? Um, oh, hello to all you Tahitian pearl and, and all you South Sea pearl harvesters. I will buy the future decade of harvests. Now, does that have a knock-on effect to other pearl harvesters? Absolutely. So your Edison pearls skyrocket in price and they were already expensive. Akoya pearls. Akoya pearls are, are so staggeringly expensive now because they're one of the few that you can access. Freshwater pearls, we had our pearl buyer join us um, a few weeks ago on a show and she was saying, I can't buy freshwater pearls because China won't e export them. That what, you know, most of the freshwater pearls are, are actually harvested in China and the market is huge for pearls in China at the moment. You think about it, they're a third of the world's population. Yeah. China. So yeah. if they've got an insatiable appetite for a gemstone, there's no point in them exporting them. The only pearls that we can get hold of right now are your Edisons. But they come at a very high price. Like Akoyas, they are very expensive. Edison pearls are one of the big four. One of the best varieties in the world. You are looking at Let's go through those five virtues. That recording, Adam, is amazing. So you're looking at large pearls. In terms of their measurements, Ross, nine to 11 millimeters. When we talk about the color, surely when they've got that rich, almost gold, pistachios, purples, that must be dyed. Mm -mm it's natural they are so good that it raises those questions yes surely with that much luster the nacre is going to be substantial absolutely every single one of those five virtues virtues being ticked and then some what does not make sense and this is from one avid pearl lover to another is the price see it make the most of it and then forget that price because it is no reflection of the true value or worth. Good luck. If there are any left, I will 100% be joining you, Ross, because this is one of the craziest deals I've seen. They are metallic pearls. I know our graphics don't say it, but do you agree? Can you see bronze? Can oh, you yeah. see gold? Can you see copper tones? Yeah. And that's natural from the thickness of the nacre. I only have 20, though. I only have 20. The ripples, a Baroque pearl is, or, or ripple pearls. In fact, you know what, Roscoe? We read that article, didn't we? Talking about ripple pearls, the new favorite. There you go. There's articles talking about the, the, the desirability of ripple pearls. What is a ripple pearl? It's an abundance of nacre, which is the rare precious material that makes a pearl beautiful. You get these lovely, almost imagine like throwing a silk sheet in the air, like the Cadbury's Flake advert and you get those ripples across. Yeah. That on a pearl, that on a pearl. We have 20 available opportunities. They won't last long because straight away we've got pearl collectors getting involved. When there's 20 available, Ross, did we have more at the beginning? That's why it's that price then doesn't make sense but we bought when we bought these however long ago pre pearl frenzy ah there we go they've been under lock and key february these were launched okay when we bought these we bought them at a fantastic price because we bought quantity you are seeing that fantastic price tag today because the reality 1999 pounds that's already far too low for ripple pearls 
naturally metallic of this size of this quality that's not your price though you've got well producer presenter and many others I think in the studio all yeah mm -hmm. are you fancy these Charlie mm -hmm. yeah designer all fancy in these and that's an unbelievable price already if we were stopping there if we were stopping there I buy pearls not just because they're so visually beautiful and classic and timeless and iconic I buy pearls because never mind like when my girls turn 18 or 21 they're not going to be anywhere near these prices they're not there now no. so what are they going to be in a few decades time I dread to think dread actually. to think exactly even if I've got pearl strands that I've been buying over the years that I've literally just put away. Yeah, me too. Make sure you take them out of the plastic, by the way. Yes. Pearls don't like being in plastic. Very so good put them point. In, yeah, just put them in like a like a a, a cotton bag or something like that. Two nine nine is not your price. The next price crash. Not your price. I have to say again, yeah, I agree. Ross is saying this is one of the best strands uh, price point for what you're getting in the entire company. I agree. Again, Ross, I remember doing the like 10, 15 centimeter metallic pearl strands about five, six years ago, and they were more than the price that's on your screens right now. You've got a full 38 centimeter strand, and we're not even stopping there. They're big. They're full of luster. They're full of those spectrum colors. That is all totally natural. And they are one of the hottest trends of pearls at the moment. Natural color, beautiful layers of nacre that give you that amazing reflection, that orient, that brightness. Really. On, Ross has just checked the documentation. It's saying they do a go up to, some of them go up to 13 millimeters. Well, yeah, look at that one. That's the, oh, where is it? There. 100% 13 mil. Nobody is paying 199. Oh, look at that one there. Oh, sorry. I know it does make you go, look at that. Oh, and that one. Oh! It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. If they don't sell out, I will absolutely be joining you, Ross. That's, that's unbelievable for Ripple Pearls. But again, not just the value of these, the accessibility of these. You know, you want to get a certain type of Rolex watch. You go on a waiting list for a decade. Oh, easy, yeah. At least, depending on what. We can't get hold of certain pearls. People will pay over the odds on certain types of watches so they don't have to wait that long. You know, we're bringing you this level of quality at prices that didn't exist six years ago. Look at them, they're absolutely unbelievable. Again, so super reflective. They're big individual pearls. I had 20, 37 pounds and 25 pence. That's a crazy low price, isn't it? Um, on your split payment. It's a long. What's that? Uh, oh. We're not gonna be getting these. Um, and do you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay because I, I, you know, what's most important is our customers get them. Um, if anything falls out of baskets, then I'll be keeping a watchful eye. <laughs> I most definitely be keeping a watchful eye because, like I said, these are these are pills for the future. The pills for now, of course. The price is absolutely skyrocketing. It's no way near one hundred and forty-nine pounds. These types of pills are sold individually for four figures on occasion. Oh, easy. Individually. Easy. It's such a long strand as well, isn't yeah. it? It's not five or six that's red carpet worthy again you think about that um influencer the chinese influencer and holly and, and celebrity nini yes she was wearing tahitian pearls but they're pearls of this size oh yeah and yeah. And, and and that's taken tahitian pearls south sea pearls edison pearls akoya pearls all of them freshwater pearls to dizzy prices dizzy prices look at that five figures do you want to know how many of these are left five there are five left within the business once they're gone. They're gone, jewellery makers. 
Again, we are not exempt from the current situations within any gemstone market. You know, the popularity, as with all gemstones, it goes up, it goes down. We fell out of love with emeralds once upon a time. Now they're back in favor massively. Pearls, they are that constant, aren't they? Even gents are wearing them now, aren't yeah. they? Which I think says a lot. Gents yeah. don't typically wear jewelry, but if they are noticing them. Oh, they are stunning. You're right, Libby. They're stunning absolutely beautiful it's the amount of colors natural colors that you're getting in these with that wonderful high luster now uh, we, we've got 30 seconds on your screen jewelry makers we're going to dive straight into a break and then we've got your amazing masterclass coming up all about the alhambra inspiration of course in sterling silver and beautiful onyx i've got a hundred here it is here is the strand, super excited and they're perfectly paired as well. Um, so they're coming up just after the break, jewellery makers, we've got 150 of those, so much more to bring you throughout the course of the morning show. More from our gorgeous Charlie, we will see you in two, well done. <laughs> Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your jewellery maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your jewellery maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call center 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95, charges may differ outside the UK, or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? 
Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're well this Friday morning. Oh, we're all just a little bit excited about your deal of the day today. Do you know when something, a piece, you think about some of the most iconic pieces in jewellery history. The Alhambra, the Panther for Cartier, the little padlock for Tiffany's and Co. Some of the most iconic are actually some of the simplest designs, mm. aren't they? Yeah. And they have stood not just over decades, over centuries. Yeah. The Panther has been around for, Cartier Panther has been for over a hundred years. Length, um, isn't it? Yeah, it stands the test of time. Yeah. And of course, you know, said maisons, as they call themselves, um, they come with a pretty price, price tag. You know, if you want to get yourself a little Al Alhambra, even the mini ones from Van Cleef and Arpels, you are talking thousands of pounds, thousands of pounds. Yes, there'll be gold and it'll be a beautiful onyx. Now we're not bringing you the gold because that would be obviously quite expensive, but we're still bringing you beautiful sterling silver and still genuine onyx. So when we talk about the four leaf clover, I don't think there's many people out there who wouldn't think of Van Cleef and Arpels, which is where the inspiration lies. So what's the history of this amazing design, this collection from this iconic brand? Um, well, they say a value dear to the Maison. I love how they refer to themselves as the Maison. Um, luck has been a perennial guiding light to Van Cleef and Arpels, inspiring uh, some of its most iconic creations. Four leaf clover motifs first appeared in the Maison's archives as, as of 1920, embellish, uh, embellishing select creations over the years alongside other symbols of good fortune, including wooden talismans, charms, and benevolent fairies. Jack Sarpel's nephew of the founding couple, an avid collector, would often pick four leaf clovers in his backyard, offering them to his employees as a good luck charm. So that is where it all began. To be lucky, you must believe in luck, as Jack Sarpels, nephew of Estelle Arpels, liked to say. An avid collector, he would pick the four-leaf clovers in his backyard um, of his house, offering them to his employees alongside the English poem, Don't Quit, which is a very beautiful poem as well. Um, in 1968, the Maison created the first Alhambra long line necklace composed of 20 clover shaped motifs, increased yellow gold and trimmed with gold beads. This symbolic design achieved immediate success, recognized throughout the world as a token of luck, emblematic of Van Cleef and Arpels. And like I said, it is one of those really simple and distinctive shapes that you see and immediately know who it is. It is iconic to the brand, isn't it? One of the original sketches, this is all on Van Cleef's website, by the way, um, 1948. So you can see that looks very like it's very much diamond embellished as well. You've got the beaded design, but you can see there's that four leaf clover um, going back, back to the 1940, uh, 1940s. Um, over the years, the Alhambra collection has introduced new aesthetics to its offerings, each providing an imaginative interpretation of the iconic motif, motif sorry, so dear to Van Cleef and Arpels. Vintage Alhambra pieces, which reflect the collection's original aesthetics, are complemented by elegant variations of motifs, symbols, colours and sizes. 
Faithful to the first Alhambra long necklace created in 1968, vintage Alhambra pieces stand out for their uh, eminently recognisable style, identical in size, each motif is edged in golden beads and are set with natural and refined materials. Boldly asymmetrical, magic Alhambra, so these are different designs, so you get the vintage and you get the magic one. Magic Alhambra creations feature um, a harmonious combination of shapes and, and materials from carnelian to tiger's eye white and grey mother of pearl white gold and diamonds the motifs are interpreted in playful uh, varieties of sizes so for example you know the one that we've shown with the princess of wales which actually is kind of asymmetric different size motifs that would be the magic um, and again let's talk about let's show you sort of the similar prices um, that yeah, Van Cleef, this one, there we go. So there's that, that's one of the magic collections because you've got the different sizes um, of your motifs there. Beautiful, beautiful, symbolic. It's that classic, classic design. But let's talk about some of the prices that you can expect on Van, for Van Cleef and Arpels. So you can sometimes pick them up from set, uh, on the secondary hand market, but direct from them for um, a black onyx ring, by the way. £2,910. By the way, don't think, oh yeah, but it's the diamond owl. No, the diamond's tiny. It's not the diamond. Um, look at the earrings without diamonds. £2,000. Uh, Let's call it that. Um, and they are smaller, definitely. They definitely, because they're sweet. Sweet is the small, little small ones. Um, then you've got the 10 motifs. There we go, 6900 in that necklace what about the black onyx in yellow gold that pendant that's the vintage so that's not far off the same size as yours maybe a little smaller 2000s at 260 um there you go vintage alhambra necklace in 18 karat gold agate a blue agate 7850 and please know i'm not sitting here saying it's not worth those price tags it's van cleef and arpels they justify that price because they're iconic and of course they use gold too however I can't afford that kind of price tag. No. Um, we can show you a few more. The Black Onyx Vintage Bracelet, you can see there for 3450 um, Mother of Pearl, you can see there 2260 There's just a plain gold Alhambra, no gemstone, 6750 um, And shall we just quickly, because I always like this, Roscoe, show some of the celebrities wearing it. So, okay, you have Princess of Wales, of course, wearing hers and she yeah revisits this uh, suite quite a lot um looks lovely here's that exact piece actually on their website as well look how beautiful that is that hangs lovely doesn't it so lovely it is stunning isn't it she wears it mm. a lot yeah gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it suits her too uh queen camilla wearing hers in malachite amazing she's a big fan you can see it in the agate on her wrist um, on her wrist, there's she might have borrowed Princess Catherine's, you never know. Um, Mariah Carey, the Queen of Pop, of course, wearing hers, as you would expect. Um, the price tags, as you can see, alongside it. Oof, goodness me. Naomi Watts, um, wearing a long line Alhambra and matching earrings, absolutely beautiful, at the Van Cleef and Arpels red carpet. Adele, layering her Van Cleef and Arpels bracelets, you can see just there. Beautiful. She looks like she's some, somewhere like Monaco there. Mm. I feel like she's at Monaco watching the Formula One or something like that. Um, amazing. You have Reese Witherspoon. Black Onyx in the middle, you can see. She likes to style hers. And wear it shopping. Why not? Like you're Reese you Witherspoon. You can wear your Van Cleef and Arpels wherever. And to be honest, if I splashed out that amount of money, I would get my wear out of it as well. <laughs> I'd wear it a lot. Um, a look, an interesting article. Are Van Cleef and Arpels bracelets really worth £3,750? Um, what to say? Jewelry expert claims cult piece loved by Molly May and Amanda Holden only costs £800 to make. Well, <coughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe that might be the case um, in gold, but they're not watching Jewelry Maker, are they? Because <laughs> you can make a version a lot, lot more affordable than that. Um, it's well, do you know what? That's do you know that you could say that about all jewelry? All jewelry is the markup is massive, of course. It has to be, has to be. Molly May's wearing the blue agate, but the markup on all jewelry is huge, it's like 400% in a jeweler's. So it's not just Van Cleef and Arpels, it's all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, Blake Lively wearing hers, I like how she styled hers down as well, it's very cool. 
Very cool. Hers looks like Agate again. Catherine Zeta Jones wearing what looks like Mother of Pearl. Just one classic, just one on a chain. Look how elegant that is. Apps, I think she's gorgeous, by the way, Catherine Very. Zeta Jones. Um, Alex Scott wearing one of the minis. And Van Cleef, uh, sorry, Amanda Holden wearing the bracelet there. I love that whole outfit. I know, I know. we're not supposed to be looking. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's I think, so stunning. One yeah. of the most beautiful women, I think, Amanda Holden. Um, then you've got Cardi B and Fam. We're all wearing the Van Cleef and our bells. Your baby's got them on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, baby's got it on. Oh. They've all got it on. Beautiful He's got it family. on. Yeah. They split up now, haven't they? Oh, I don't know. Have they? Oh, dear. Oh, oh really? Is it not? Is it, uh, Are they arguing over who owns which necklace? Is it not amicable? Oh, dear. Never mind. Um, Dan's favourite, Jack Grealish. There you go, Jack. There you go, Dan. Here's, here's Jack Grealish for you. He looks lovely in it too, doesn't he? Uh, he's um, and then you've got Drake. Then you've got Drake. Isn't he like the biggest rapper in the world? Yeah. Drake. Is he? Yeah, he's big. Oh, and he's second. <laughs> is he second? Second to who? Who? Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick. That shows you how much I know about rappers. Um, anyway, but look, look. So, <laughs> gents, ladies, everybody's wearing this iconic motif. Um, you know, it, it is one of those uh, those motifs, I think, that works for absolutely everybody, gents, ladies, and has literally transitioned throughout every single generation and era. Um, again, Van Cleef & Arpels is 50 years young. That's how iconic this brand is, and it shows no sign of falling out of favor oh, no. and i totally get that it's luck it's the it's it's an icon isn't it it's 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 like the little black dress it's yeah. like oh, the yeah. pearl necklace it's an it's an icon in its style with ease yeah definitely. it's not ostentatious no. it's not over the top it is something that you could wear to the office like with a, Reese with a spoon to the shops whichever it might be um, it is the perfect design that's, that fits on the red carpet with obviously Princess Catherine, but it also works when you're rocking your little your brown paper bag. You know, whatever. Okay, now when we <laughs> when we launch these, what's that? One more thing to say, says Ross. They might be the most affordable Alhambra inspired clover motifs that you've ever done know these are encased in silver that is precious metal genuine onyx the icon in a jewelry maker version i love these we have 150 available i mean look at that how perfect is that you can spot that a mile off can't you yeah what a stunner Look how gorgeous that is. It's identical, isn't it? Yeah. You... You've got precious metal wrapping your beautiful genuine gemstones. But what is not identical is the price. Oh. <laughs> we have 150. Again, this may well be the most affordable Alhambra inspired four leaf clover strand that we've ever brought to air. I love what Mark's created, so thank you to Mark for making this lovely necklace and pair of earrings. That is genuinely a piece of jewellery that I would want to wear on every occasion. You'd sleep in it, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's what it's about, isn't yeah. it? That's, you know, that if we were to put this, slot this onto the Van Cleef and Arpels website, would it look out of place? No. <laughs> Definitely not. How gorgeous. You be basically get two of each colour. It's all onyx. So you get two of the yellows, two of the orange, two of the blues, two of the greens. Oh. So if you wanted to go down the earrings route, you can definitely do that too. The, they're silver, genuine solid 925 sterling silver. Okay, jewellery makers, the iconic motif as popular as ever, that article said. Icons and essentials, Van Cleef and Arpels, Alhambra is 50 years young. The iconic motif is as popular as ever. And I genuinely do not think it is diminishing in any way, shape, or form. There's been little twists, versions yeah. along the way. But it's, you know, the essence, the design, the four-leaf clover inspiration has stayed consistent. 
Now, as soon as we open our graphics, and again I'll say it, remember this is one of the most affordable four leaf clover Alhambra designs that Jewelry Maker have ever brought you. And they will sell out. We have 150 available. Look at that. Would you mix the colours? Would you have them so that they are, you know, mirror image? I'd be tempted to do that and buy a couple of sets and do a full single colour. A long line. Yep. Oh, that yep. would be amazing. Yeah. Well, today, honestly, you might be able to do that because oh, really? even though this is silver and genuine gemstones and you've got, you know, it takes a lot to carve a gemstone into a four-leaf clover. Oh, we yeah. always talk about hearts being one of the most, most complex. A four-leaf clover is that times four. It's the cleft where the challenge is. Um, I've just looked at my star buy sheet and you're right, Ross, this is that, that, that price is unbelievable. Okay, lowest price we've ever done, we believe. Okay, well, but we're gonna put a clock on your screen. You get eight of your clovers and they are wrapped in sterling silver. There's 150 available jewelry makers. What I would say is do not wait. Don't hesitate on this. I do think it is going to be one of those uh, opportunities that is on and gone. I can't see this being available for the repeat, say, this afternoon. Um, get it whilst, have a go, by all means, if you are watching on repeat, have a go. Um, but don't leave it in your baskets, everybody. It's taken us, I remember the first launch of this kind of idea here at Jewelry Maker. They sold out in a heartbeat. They were more expensive than what we're doing today. Um, in different gemstones, sold out. And we went upstairs, Ross and I were like, can we have some more of those? More of those, please. And we were even saying, can we do longer strands? Get longer strands as well. It's here, it's happening, jewelry makers. There's 150 available, still in sterling silver, with your beautiful onyx, the same gem that wonderful uh, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels use. And today, though, at a jewelry maker price tag. The graphics are live. Good luck to you all. Wrapped in precious 925 sterling silver super simple to to create as well you know i am not a talented jewelry maker like charlie and you guys at home i'm not at all I'm very basic but i can open and close a jump ring oh yeah and, and that's the, basically what it is the jump rings are with it aren't they yep yep the phone lines have gone crazy the web's gone crazy um as promised jewelry makers this will be one of the best prices that you have ever seen for this design you think how much they are individually we sell, we sell, we have done, haven't we, Ross? The little individual four-leaf clover me motifs on their own. And how much are they normally? He says it depends on the gem. Between nine ninety-nine and fourteen ninety-nine, he's saying usually per motif. On their own, individually, individually. So this, let's say fourteen ninety-nine, fourteen ninety-nine, fourteen ninety-nine. Just bear that in mind, jewelry makers. Um, when we uh, when we take this to your your deal of the day price tag, thank you to those of you that are trusting the process and shopping ahead nice and early. Um, shopping ahead nice and early, um, making sure guaranteeing your success. Here's Adele wearing her layers of Alhambra. Adele wore that. Oh, I love it. it looks like black onyx, malachite, and green and red onyx. How much is that bracelet? Mm. We saw it, didn't we? 7,000, wasn't it? It's like 7,000 pounds. It's a small car, isn't it? Yes. She's got three of them wrapped around the wrist. Oh, it's three small cars. It's three small cars. Good luck, everybody. Sarah in Shropshire, Fiona getting two, London, Sally, Wiltshire getting three, Deborah, Merseyside, Madeline, Deborah, uh, Debbie, Pamela in Monmouthshire, Pamela in Devon. Well done. Those of you, uh, sit back and enjoy. We've got 150. I'm saying approaching a third of the stock's already been allocated. It is flying. It is the most popular motif that we have ever brought you um, a version of here at Jewelry Maker. Understandably so, because everybody wants luck. Oh, yeah. Don't they? Yeah. Everybody wants luck, and it's a pretty design. Oh, yeah. Luck and love, yeah. says Adam. That's all he wants in life. Fair play. Yeah, exactly. What more do we want? 
0800 Solid sterling silver. A full strand. And they come in pairs as well. Okay. For a stud, pair of stud earrings, £3,800. £3,800. It's elite bank accounts, is it? I, I can only dream of owning something like that. But you but know what, now. Charlie? It's one of them, even if I had it... Being I, that selfish I, to spend that much yeah, on I yourself, don't know. on a whim, I, I, yeah, I think I would maybe struggle spending that on myself. It, 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 it's one of them, it's like, th that's a lot of money, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, an it's astonishing amount of money. I it's know it's like, okay, if you're in that world, then maybe, I don't know, but um, I can't fathom it, I can't get my head around it. Here at Jewelry Maker, we can bring you that same beauty with a difference, there is a slight twist, and of course yours is still a precious metal, it's, it's silver, because you can get Van Cleef in white gold. Oh, yeah. You get them in white gold. I think Reese Witherspoon's was in white gold, wasn't it? Um, but obviously, we can bring it to you at a more affordable price tag, our version. We're not stopping here, jewelry makers. Yeah, we're taking our time, and that's because we know that if we just bring the graphics in, drop the price straight on air, it will crash the system, melt the web, and we will not be popular. Your next price crash, which is where the phone lines are going to go crazy. Remember, we have promised... One of the best prices on our Four Leaf Clover inspired designs ever in jewelry maker history. This is where the phone lines are going to go crazy. But it's not your final price. Are you ready? So simple to create high end jewelry out of this opportunity. Not your final price. These are not base metal. That's £10 per. Van Cleef and Arpels inspired four leaf clover motifs. World which we personally. Sorry, yeah. Elle. No, carry on. What are you saying? No, they are world recognisable. It doesn't matter where yeah. you're from, you know that motif. So true. Yeah, genuine gemstone. Everybody recognises this iconic yeah. shape. Everybody does. 79. I love the red. 79.99 is not your price. The last time we brought you a selection of gemstones in this design, eight motifs, we went to 79.99, which is £10 each, and then we took it to the next price, the next price tag. Already approaching half the stock, Ross? Yeah. Half the stock, the stock is allocated. £69.99. They were less than £10 per individual motif. I know, I know I've brought you a version of a four-leaf clover to wear in excess of £10. But we have said from the very start today that we believe this is the lowest price per four-leaf clover that we have ever done. That is not your deal of the day. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Beautifully wrapped in 925 sterling silver. Super simple to create high-end, iconic inspired jewelry. It's gonna be a one show wonder. It's gonna be on today and then a sellout. Because like I said, you just, I saw Mark make this piece of jewelry, by the way. It took him no time to do, no time to do. And that's not a criticism to Mark, by no, the way. No. When you've got perfection, it doesn't need overcomplicating, no. does it? In 23 seconds, we're taking it even lower. There was 150, half the stock is gone, and so many multi-buyers getting involved. Previously at 69.99, you think two little, what was what, different gemstones. Okay, different gems. You can get a pair of earrings in 18 karat gold, granted. From Van Cleef, a whisper under four grand. Today, your deal of the day, you can make a version, be inspired by, for oh. under 50 pounds. They are still solid. Does that look 50 pounds? No. If you put oh, that yeah. at an artisanal market, and I get it, it depends where you are. You put it on a platform, whatever, where, in silver, mm -hmm. 
it's at least two, three hundred pounds, surely. Oh yeah, yeah, and it'll sell itself. You have to push it again with the. It doesn't take very long to make. It'll no. just do it on its own because it's an icon. It, exactly, it's an absolute icon. Yeah, everybody knows what it is. Yeah, dirt there, and you can have a slither of that. That's quite special. It really is. You know, when you think about like a diamond, a rambling cut diamond solitaire iconic to tiffany's and co aren't they yeah you get those everywhere now yeah this is the icon yeah in, in in a version of a necklace and we get a piece of that um and you can get you can recreate in yeah. that luxury jewelry at 49 pounds 99 pence solid 925 sterling silver you get a mixture of your colors this is onyx as well so you get your black onyx your red onyx your pale blue and your green um and your lemon sorry yeah Sorry, you get red onyx, green, lemon onyx, and pale blue. Pairs of the green and the yellow. Are, the, are they? Oh. The yellow and the blue are the chalcedony, and then the reds and the green are onyx. Oh, my God. Well, it takes it to another different price tag, doesn't it? Because chalcedony is expensive. The necklace that Mark has made has got, yeah, six motifs. So take into consideration at Van Cleef one black onyx is two thousand five hundred and ninety pounds. One. Just one. Same gemstone. Same gemstone. Just different precious metal. We're at four, forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Which is working out at six pounds twenty five pence per motif. In, <laughs> it's just in silver. Actually. It is actually. Isn't it? And we have an announcement. When I looked in the break at my star by sheet just to jog my memory of what we were launching this today for, knowing that Ross had already mentioned that this was going to be the most affordable Alhambra inspired four leaf clover sterling silver opportunity that we've ever done, I was thinking surely when we launched the previous one, was it 69, 79 pounds? That's a great deal. But that is not what's on my star by sheet. Price per motif, we are absolutely certain we've never done before. Crazy, crazy, crazy low. Look at that on your screens. At a class, job done. How beautiful. How beautiful. Mark made this amazing necklace in 10 minutes the other day. No, that's not me discrediting Mark. When you've got perfection, you don't need to reinvent nope. the wheel, do you? We're at 49.99, but we are going even lower, jewelry makers again. Good luck. 22 carats of your beautiful gemstones. So you've got your onyx and your chalcedony and your lovely clovers wrapped in sterling silver. Started with 150 of these. I think we're going to shock you on this, jewelry makers. Because this could come, even if I sat here and said, £149, that's a great price. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. Me too. Me too. Because you've got all that sterling silver, and it is all sterling silver. You've got the complexity of the carving, the wrapping of the precious metal. Today, £39.99. That's £5 per motif. One on a chain, sterling silver chain. When you think Van Cleef and our pals are talking about £2,500. Here, you can make a, ver a, a version of for a drop in the ocean. My goodness me, Deborah, Frederick and Anita, Kathy, Pamela. Yeah, what would you sell it for? Just one on a chain. Well, it'd be close to 200 quid for me. If I listed it myself to a single one, around about two, 250. And yeah. I bet it would fly. Oh yeah, easy. And I'd be greedy with my profit. I would just stick with the singles or I'd stick with the earrings or I'd buy a couple of strands, then make the one piece. But that's, I mean, I mean it'd be well over a thousand pounds. Yes. In sterling. It's precious metal. Yep. And they're beautifully carved gemstones. Yep. Yep. This is handcrafted jewelry in the yep. same way Van Cleef and Arpels do. Yep. You're handcrafting your jewellery. You know, there's, that's one of their things. Have you ever seen that? Uh, uh, if you're on their website, Van Cleef and Appels, every, every piece is handcrafted. You do that on a daily basis. Yeah. You do it on a daily basis. Um, hello to you. Is that Julie, did you say? Uh, I've got two 
I can't see it. Yes. So. Yes. Thank you. Great prize. Thank you. Th sorry, Welcome, Julie. Julie. I couldn't read your message. Um, well done, my lovely. It's absolutely incredible. I think our call screens has gone a little bit do lally. <laughs> um, half the stock has gone at thirty nine ninety nine. Well done, Julie. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, yeah. I think have the, have the call screens frozen. Might have done. When you've got something as popular as this, though, it didn't stop you shopping. I'm not surprised. Do you know? I, I'm with you, Charlie. I think I would multi buy. Yep at that price yeah definitely, definitely. multi-buy thinking a beautiful long line version just put like Mark's done sections of chain in between yeah just to stretch out the Alhambras yeah not matching little dra drop earrings and then why not a bracelet why not why not a bracelet there you all are my call screens had frozen so I couldn't see all your names but there you all are so many of you getting involved congratulations we had 150 it doesn't look like we've got any anywhere near that quantity now we've got in actual fact oh yeah mm. thought as much it'll be an on-screen sellout then like the pearls like the sterling silver spaces we're gonna miss out are they what the same inside yes so you go Sarah I'll show you they're lovely aren't they I know let me show you so I'll flip it over so there's the one side Can you see or shall I do it this way that easier oh look at that beautiful I love that and me so if it does roll on the wrist or around the decolletage doesn't matter oh you'd be happy about it unbelievable the final 21 Anita I can see you multi buying congratulations Liz Helen June Anna Elizabeth um, from 150 I'm down to the final 17 there's how many still in baskets how many how many still in baskets 151 people have got the final 17 in their basket or think they have oh we're definitely not getting any no we're gonna miss out on this but it's been fun while it lasted isn't oh it? yeah and you want people to take as much pleasure out of them as well so they can have it oh they can have it i might buy one off you <laughs> but make sure you send your photographs into the wall Ooh. of fame because i'd love to yes, see those please. designs That'd be lovely. um well done good <clears> luck <throat> nancy well done to cheshire london cumbria deborah uh, five june lorna Susan, Norma, Sally, hello to you, Karen, Alan, Wiltshire, Marishka, there's loads of you getting involved, Paula, Jane, Sari, Jacqueline, hello to you, Pamela, Jerry, Debbie, I can't, I can't keep up with you, I generally can't, the call screens have gone completely crazy, completely crazy as we rapidly approach the single figures, um, yeah, there we are, we're in it, we're in it, says Ross, and at the beginning of the show we mentioned, look, look, we absolutely a certain that this is the most affordable Van Cleef and Arpels inspired motif that we've ever done. Ever, ever, ever done. Five pounds per motif. Have you ever seen that? And we've done them individually. No. We said originally, didn't we? Ten, between 10 and 15 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Now, we have got just a couple of the original strand that we launched. Oh. There are 14. So if you've missed out on this, and if, oh, Ross, can you go back to where on the on the PowerPoint where it talks about the different styles of Van Cleef? Because you have your vintage, which they say faithful to the first Alhambra long necklace created in 1968. The vintage Alhambra piece stands out for their eminently recognisable style, identical in size. Okay, each motif is edged in golden beads. The magic, so the one with which uh, we showed Princess Catherine. Boldly asymmetric, magic Alhambra creations feature a harmonious, a harmonious combination of shapes and materials. From carnelian to tiger's eye, white and grey mother of pearl, white, gold and diamond, the motifs are interpreted um, in a playful variety of sizes. Now the reason why I've asked for that, Ross, is if you wanted to go a bit magic Alhambra, <coughs> like Princess Catherine, then you can. See where I'm coming from? They're smaller, yeah. So these are, these are more expensive. Sorry, yeah, these are more expensive than the bigger ones. So this has got carnelian, malachite, bro different gems, brown onyx, and what? And blue agate, okay. 
But if you want to go for your magic Alhambra inspired, where you have that playful variety of size, as they say, then here's a very limited opportunity, the original. That would work beautifully, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. We'll do this in two price crashes. Now, again, different gemstones. So, for example, this has got the malachite, this has got the carnelian, it's got bronchoronyx and blue agate. They're all stunning, though, aren't they? Oh, yeah. If you missed out on the previous strand, again, there's a, a, it's a second opportunity, but a very, very, very limited one. Would you go for the magic Alhambra inspiration, or would you keep it symmetrical? Oh, like no, I would go vintage. with the magic. I do like the, the both. I would be itching to get this set if I got the first one. Um, because there's just something, like you say, playful it about is playful. it, isn't there? Um, and I like the fact that they're different gemstones because there's yeah. even more to push, isn't there? And they do that. They mix their gemstone. There's a piece on first dibs, which we've shown before. That There we go. Now, I know it's different motifs as well, which they talk about. But if you go to first dibs, Van Cleef and Arpel's Lucky Alhambra, 12 motifs, 17 and a half thousand pounds. Oh. It's a medium-sized car, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to go straight to the price because there's so many of you there. And it's just, it's sections, two-inch sections yeah. of chain like Mark has done. £69.99. Different gems. You've got malachite, you've got bronchoronyx, you've got blue chalcedony, and you've got your carnelian in these. Framed in sterling silver. If you've got the first... And you mm. want to go sort of magic Alhambra inspiration where you have that playful arrangement, then you, this has got a, a different size to them, all in sterling silver. And it's just literally opening and closing a jump ring, isn't it? Definitely. You need the second set. If you've got the first set, you oh. need the second set, without a doubt. Um, They're so beautiful. Yeah, I'm quite jealous, actually. Yeah, me too. <laughs> just add a class to it if you want. That's it. That's it. As simple as amazing five jerry london swansea pamela cheshire you've done it libby's there devon's there uh nicolette's there lorna's there kent's there manchester's there and cumbria's there well done now well done everybody now we do have oh my goodness and if 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 van cleves remember we're taking inspiration from them the mizzle the mizzle you say that so well <laughs> <laughs> Um, I did go into Van Cleef and Arpel's shop when I was down in London last. I looked so out of place. You know, you just like feel I so... I can imagine you do. No. I bet you felt out of I was, place. I was poorly as well. So oh. I was like, oh. oh, maybe not. <laughs> I was poorly, but I forced myself to go into Van Cleef and Arpel's. And you know, it's like, it's so uncomfortable. Do they have to buzz you in? This was the one. Walking? This was like like the um, the one within Selfridges. Oh right, okay. Yeah, so they have like a little, like almost a room, if yeah. you like, in Selfridges. But yeah, so they don't buzz you in. But again, it's it's really uncomfortable, I found. Anyway, so they play with different shapes, motifs. How about playing with different gemstones? How about adding one of your absolute favourites? That is labradorite. This is going to knock you off your feet. The quality of the labradorescence just literally illuminates the surface of the strand. Oh, my goodness. There are 20 available natural labradorite. Look at those. A full rainbow just here. Everybody went wow in my ear then. That yeah. Breathtaking. When we talk about labradorite, that's what we want. Complete coverage of that amazing phenomena effect. Perfectly aligned little microscopic platelets that capture the light and create this amazing, amazing glow of color. One price crash, we've got how many? 20. Had. Says ad. <laughs> 40. Oh. 49 pounds and 99 pence only yeah again if van cleef play with the motifs and the different varieties of gemstones i think we can do exactly the same look at that so beautiful super super beautiful 49.99 there was only 20 available though everybody um nicolette manchester congratulations kathy in swansea good luck to you swansea london fife maker pamela in my home county of monmouthshire sandra dorset well done everybody look at that it's magical 
totally natural, beautiful feldspar. But again, it's like, like your opals. The more of that phenomena effect, the more desirable and valuable the gemstone is. Um, we have 20. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. June in Newport, Virginia. Well done. I've got Angus there. Alison in Kent. Well done. What a morning. I told you it was going to be a cracker, jewellery makers, didn't I? I did tell you it was going to be a cracker of a Friday. Oh. And we've still got more to bring you. We've got mm. the next hour. If you are a collector, as I think so many of us are, we're not, ju we're not ju just jewellery makers, are we? We are gemstone collectors. Treasure you know, seekers. We were quite, hey? Treasure seekers. Treasure seekers. I love that. Yeah, well, we are. <laughs> I am, definitely. We are, most yes. definitely. Even definitely if you don't true. consider yourself to be a gemstone collector, you naturally are one. Yes. Because you make jewellery. Yeah. If we're talking about a gemstone to collect, then definitely do not overlook that of Kotan. Yeah. Because we are talking about one of the longest histories of gemstones in the world. 10,000 years of mining has been documented, announced, they're now managing the mining process of Kota because they don't want it to run out. They believe they have at most two years left. Right. There are 26 remaining opportunities We've seen some massive closeout deals. It's ridiculous that we're saying the same with this. I, can't, I have to be really cautious what words I use. However, let's just put it this way. I am buying Kotan with the future in mind. We have Sun and Scarn back by very popular demand. That's totally natural. You want Imperial Green in a variety of Jade Look no further than Sam and Scarn because it's natural. That's coming your way. And we've got one more clover to bring you before the break. We're going to the western cost, uh, coast, cost? <laughs> western coast of Australia along Mooka Creek. Only two mining licenses remain. Might even be less now. So who knows? Mookite might. I sounded Australian then, didn't I? Mookite might <laughs> deplete before many other gemstones. We don't know. It's a variety of jasper. It's one locational. And it brings you this beautiful fusion of colours. Think about, if you were to visualise the colours of Australia, warm, mm. ochres, crimsons, taupes. Very much so, yeah. Then I bet it looks something like this. And it's totally and utterly natural. How many do we have, Roscoe? 24 available. Why not? Van Cleef and Arpels use, use carnelian, tiger's eye. They've got those warm tones in there. How about the mookite? Maybe they don't use mookite because of its rarity. Possibly. It's very uh, grounding, isn't is it? it? I think so, yeah. Are you into metaphysical? Not particularly. But I do get a feeling from gemstones that I feel more in touch yeah. with where we've you come relate from. To some yeah. Gems, yeah. So, so some gemstones are more showy offy. That one would make me feel calmer inside. But no, that. it's not it's not a forefront. I agree. Of my it's making. more humble, isn't it? Thank it's you. much, much, Better much word. more humble. Much yeah. like your jades, for yes. example. Much like your carnelians and yeah. your tiger's eyes. We have a limited quantity left. They're little uh, hematite spaces dotted in between, by the way, so don't discard those. Smash it. Our in. final auction before the break, and we're going to do it in one price crash. Hand carved, again, the complexity, they're not small either. The complexity that comes with a four leaf clover, you know, it's effectively the cleft of a heart times four, which is so challenging because the risk lies where you can particularly, where you can split the gem in 50 50. Oh, I imagine that happens quite a lot. I imagine it lot does. Of and then really, well, nobody wants like kind of a, a bee shape, do they? No, no. If that makes sense. Yeah. Not as in a bumblebee, as in letter B like, shape. Yeah. Because if you were to split that in half, it's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's an odd shape. Anyway, 24 pounds and 99 pence, beautifully natural mookite, all the way from Western Australia, just the whole geography of it. You know, it's halfway around the world, literally takes a day to get there. And it's a long flight. Oh, it is a very long, long flight. Long, long, long flight. Um, well done everybody stay where you are on those phone lines again just a heads up everyone how many did you say Ross we have of these sorry 26 available 
one of the final few opportunities that we are bringing our audience on Cotan Jade, certified, genuine Cotan Jade. Massive, it's ridiculous I'm saying this sentence, massive closeout deal coming up straight after the break. You also have Sam and Scarn coming your way. Um, it's an hour not to miss, especially if you are a collector. And I'm very excited about our forthcoming masterclass as well at 12 o'clock, which is a little bit of Boodles inspiration. We've gone from Van Cleef to Boodles, yes please, um, with your amazing rain dance. Yes. Oh, do you know who wears the ra Boodles rain dance ring? Emma Thompson. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I watched a... I watched a, a uh, what what? <laughs> Emma Thompson, yeah, I watched a documentary and she was talking about how it's her little, you know, she loves boodles, loves to oh. spend money in boodles. Oh, okay. um, and then after I watched that, probably about five, six years later, when I went to um, the Inspirational Women's Award in London, I saw her wearing it. Oh. Saw her wearing a mm. little rain dance, so, and it looks almost exactly the same. You name. can make your own. So that's coming up. Don't go anywhere, jewelry makers. Don't forget your Cotan Jade's coming up just after the break. We will see you in two. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely L, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours that are going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux Fordite. We've got it in four different colourways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful, hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the Fordite stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak. This incredible peacock Kiss Cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colourway and also a black and white which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there.
This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. As we make our way towards what is all about Rarity Weekend, this is a gemstone that fits firmly within that description. Because Kotan Jade not only has a history, it is one of the world's rarest and it is one of the world's most valuable variety of jade that exists. It's also, when we talk about the thousands of years history of, of jade mining, it's not actually Burmese that we're talking about, it's Kotan. Kotan is the oracle in the jade world. So much so, we've shown you necklaces um, that have been created the most expensive necklace or piece of jewelry in the world with a colored and diamond faceted and set in, uh, in a center stage. They could have chosen any gem to halo it, couldn't they? They could choose the finest rubies, the finest emeralds, the finest sapphires. But the halo is your Kotan, Kotan Jade. Can we bring that information up? Because we've shown articles in the past, amazing drawings, sketches that have been published for over thousands on thousands of years. Once upon a time, Kotan Jade was mined in the river where miners used to literally wade in under moonlight because that's when the jade pickers could see the reflection of the moonlight on the Kotan Jade. And you might be thinking, gosh, look, you can see them holding those boulders. Yes, Kotan Jade falls much, much smaller than that of Burmese Jade. It's actually, they've never found the primary deposit of Kotan Jade over those multiple thousands of years mining. This is all secondary deposits because it's basically uh, um, found in the river. So the, the original mine primary deposits never been sourced so they are yes almost palm sizes and you can see the photograph now we have in the past been like, fortunate enough to actually go to locations that I, and Dave Jake Steve definitely that have have been to China on multiple occasions of course and they have witnessed your Kotan Jade being sold and the prices are eye-watering these are the kind of sizes that we reference, which is so far removed from what you would find in Burma, you know, where they can be the size of a car. Vast, vast boulders. And they're sold on, on sort of almost little towels, literally on the floor, little pebble sizes. Um, but here's an article from the New York Times talking about jade from China, which is Kotan. Um, China's West surpasses gold in value. There's that ancient Chinese proverb, of course. Um, gold has a value, jade is priceless. It's this location that they're talking about. But ounce for ounce, the finest jade has been more, become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat jade. Mutton fat is that beautiful translucent white um, that you get from Kotan. So named for its marbled white consistency, fetching $3,000 an ounce, a tenfold increase, increase from a decade ago. Decade upon decade, the price of Kotan Jade skyrockets. And there is a very logical reason behind that. And it is the fact that those 10,000 years of mining is about to run out. Just, just as a gemstone collector, somebody with a, a passion for gemstones, not just because of their beauty, but because of the story, the history, the legacy, all those things. Is there a single other gemstone that has 
such an amazing story as Kotan Jade? Because I don't think there is. The Kashmir Sapphire, the ultimate, had such a fleeting window of mining, just a few years. We still talk about it today, don't we? Can you imagine being able to, imagine me saying these words, your Kashmir Sapphire mine is about to close. Oh my goodness me, I wish we were there and I was able to buy some because the price of Kashmir Sapphire is extortionate. Huge, huge price tags. They're remarkable, don't get me wrong. We are in that place and time, but like I said, Kashmir didn't have 10,000 years history. Thousands of years, this has always been regarded one of the world's most valuable gemstones. And it's about to get a whole lot rarer and a whole lot more valuable. Here is Sally. The jade mine uh, mines are closed. There is no jade mining um, as of last month. This was the update from Burma. There is nothing in the market here in China. Even my team are now almost exclusively working in type B and type, uh, uh, type B, and the prices are more than previous type A, yeah. So this is, um, Sally, you're talking about your jadeite versions. But the reality is Kotan jade is significantly more expensive than Burmese. Significantly so. When we talk about any variety of jade, whether it's Kotan, whether it's Bur Burmese, whether it's British Columbian, whether it's San and Scarn, we always, always, always talk about the translucency, how fine the crystal structure is, how the light can actually um, influence the heart of the gemstones, and we talk about the colour. Let's go to first dibs, because this really hits home for me. First dibs are a platform, right? They're not a company, they're not Van Cleef, they're not Tiffany's, they're a platform for people to sell jewellery. They'll take a significant commission, by the way, but they're fantastic. So they talk about your Kotan Jade. And they say, um, Jade necklace, hand-carved, white mutton fats. So this is the white colour, regardless. Certified untreated, treated, natural, like yours. The price for mutton fat jade starts at $995. Tops out at $325,000 with these necklaces on average selling for 93,250. Now, you know, we, our eyes widen at that, but it is the reality. The fact that little old jewelry maker in the center of, in the center of the UK, bring this quality of gemstone to our audience at such an, an achievable price tag is amazing. It's absolutely incredible. And I've said it so many times, not, before the show, I remember the other, I think it was last week, I was like, we should be buying more of this. As in not us as a company buying it, we can't. We found it very difficult. However, if there is any in, within your grasp, within your reach, within your budget, do it without hesitation. Because in a couple of years time, it's not gonna be possible. Sources of rare jade in the Xinjiang could be depleted in six years, they're saying. There you go. Deposits of Kotan and Hotan jade, gone in six years. The jade is considered to be the highest quality because of its pure texture and tallow-like luster and has been associated with emperors throughout Chinese history. 10,000 years history. News agency reports that prospectors in modern mining, uh, with modern mining equipment have flooded into the region to capitalize on the gemstone's high price. I can't blame them. I don't blame them. Is that any different to what I've just said? Buy it if you can. Buy it if you can. I've got Kotan Jade that I've bought and I've never even entertained being able to afford it up until before Jewelry Maker. Never. It's not within my budget. Um, that I will literally just keep. And at some point, might sell it. Might approach first dibs. Why not? I'm waiting though until the mine is announced as closed. That's one of the things that Dave actually said to us all. If you own Kotan Jade, don't sell it yet. Just hold fire just a little bit longer. Um, there we go. Tales of the world's most magnificent and important jewelry. Are the jade sources really in danger of depletion? 
Rumour has it that the geological source of top quality jade are at rich risk of being depleted. This rumour maintained by Chinese jade traders uh, might be driving the price of jade higher and higher each year. In some areas of China, such as Hotan, Kotan Jade, government agencies have cracked down on commercial pillage of the beautiful white nephrite jade, um, along with White Jade River um, area. They are concerned that this age-old source of mutton fat jade might be complete, uh, completely depleted if they don't protect it. So they are, the, the government is saying, we need to monitor this. They don't want to see that history gone. Good luck to each and every single one of you. When we talk about heirloom jewellery, my goodness me, it doesn't get much more heirloom than what's on, on our desk right now. And if your budget permits, don't hesitate to own Kotan J. Get your certificate too, because it will say Kotan. It will say natural. You can see the quality. Does it look like a melting ice cube? That melting ice cube luster indicates the fine translucency the beautiful quality of the Kotan jade that you're acquiring. This is genuinely a legacy piece opportunity, one that you cannot, you can do whatever you want. You see how simple that mutton fat necklace was on, uh, on, on first dibs. That was, what, what do you reckon? I don't know whether it was, it was the thousand pounds or whether it was the 325,000 pounds or whether it was just, as, uh, just averaging casually around about 93 grand. You know, you can make that, couldn't you? And I'm going to say it again, jewelry makers, this is why we should be selling gold. We've got Kotan Jade on our screens right now. That, if you're going to put it with a precious metal, then it would be, for me, it would be 18 karat gold. Plus today, it is madness we're saying this, Ross. It's a closeout. Every Kotan is closeout. Because it is closing out. But it's not. It shouldn't be at a closeout price. Does that make sense to you? That's a what? 58 centimetre strand. Perfectly colour matched. Do you remember the size of those boulders? You've got 58 centimetres. Not just colour matched, translucency matched as well. So there is one item that is more expensive than a bangle in the jade world. And that's strands. Because they have to match them all. Wendy, well done. Mariska, well done. You're not alone. So yeah, that's approximately 100. 100 individual cotans. And they are totally and utterly natural. Ross, what are you taking this to? Oh my goodness me, that's amazing. Sorry. I'm just telling you everybody that it is absolutely incredible. Let's just say first dibs did not come even close to the price point I've just heard. Starts at 995. And this is far look at look at the translucency of yours. It's more lustrous, more translucent than that mutton fat one that I can see. It might just be the photography, you don't know, but I know which I prefer. Mm. We start at £799. This is where things get serious. Do I buy this for, for, for the future? Absolutely. Do I buy this for my girls? 100%. 100%. Because they're not going to be able to buy Cotan Jade. Never mind what it does in terms of price. Never mind. It might be... Hun the hun I mean, right now it's hundreds of thousands of pounds um, in many cases. But they might not have access is the other thing to consider. We're at 799, but not stopping there. A more than reasonable, beyond reasonable, absolutely unbelievable 499. But still not your price. And I'm not sitting here, I say it all the time, I'm not sitting here saying 499 pounds is not a significant amount of money. It absolutely is in Elle's world. But for what you're getting, it isn't. You know, it wasn't until jewellery makers, some, what, 25 years in the, in the gemstone business, it wasn't until jewellery makers that I actually even saw Kotan in person. I've seen it in the book. I've seen the, that Heritage in Bloom, is it called? The most expensive necklace in the world. 
Here it is. Heritage in Bloom necklace is a $200 million masterpiece. That diamond in the center is a Cullinan diamond. They could have chosen any gemstone to halo it, couldn't they? Hong Kong based jewelry retailer uh, Chow Tai Fu released a gorgeously crafted diamond necklace, a heritage in bloom in September 2015. Once released, it became the most expensive diamond necklace in the world. In the world. There it is. That halo, that circle of heaven surrounding your diamond is Kotan Jade. See the beads, the diamond encrusted beads that literally work away? Can you see that? Kotan Jade. Your next price crash is where it launched with Dave. This was Dave's amazing deal. He is, was, I know how he got these as well. It's just, it's just dawned on me. We didn't buy these as in it wasn't just a monetary exchange. We bought these strands from an exchange of jade. We, remember Steve bought alongside Bernard some boulders of Burmese jade. And it was one of those, you won't lose money, you'll make money, it's, it's, you're in it for the long haul, it's not a quick overturn of cash. But how much money, we don't know. So they, he went 50-50 with Bernard, bought some Burmese jade. It turns out it was great Burmese jade. So they carved some of it, some of it went on our sister channel, some of it's been here, some of it went to Tucson, just gone. Some of it was traded for Kotan. And a big amount of it was traded for the Kotan trade. £299 is where we launched it and have sold it at every time very successfully at an absolutely unbelievable £299. It's a full 58 centimetre strand. 58. Goodness me, it's longer than I said. 58 centimetres. How many do we have? 20? 26 available and there's just 20 left now we're not even stopping there jewelry makers you want to if, if we talk about heirloom legacy opportunities can you imagine fast forward five years ten years however long and we go oh, kotam jade's mind out then thank goodness i bought someone to get yeah. the opportunity we are going stop clap we are going to the absolute lowest price that we possibly can. The clock is on your screen, not because we are closing the auction, because we are going lower, which is, again, I have to say, ridiculous. I really want to emphasize this. It is ridiculous for Kotan Jade to be going anywhere lower than 799. We've brought this to air at an amazing 299 in the past and it's sold very successfully. Today, uh, is that why? And we can't, we can't give special treatment to certain gemstones and not to others. We need the location within the vault. They'll be within our vault for so long. If they don't sell out immediately, then we'll keep them for so long and then we'll do, we might do a closeout deal. But we could sell this to first dibs. We could sell this to Hong Kong. We could. How about you do it? 30 seconds. And we're going to take it to that closeout deal price tag. Never been done before. Jewelry makers, good luck to each and every single one of you. I've got 20 of them left within the vault. You've got your five-way split pay. Rosemary, massive congratulations, my lovely multi-buying. Wendy, massive congratulations. Sally in East Sussex. Patricia in Yorkshire. Mariska in Surrey. London's there as well. In a few seconds, we're taking it to that closeout deal price. 26 can be gone in a nanosecond here at Jewelry Maker. I've got less than 20 now. This is an opportunity that none of us should ever even entertain and imagine happening. But it is. It's the reality. Oh, goodness me. From three, what did he say? $995, topping out at $325,000. On average, 93 grand. You can get it home today for 39 quid. You can, and you are talking about gemologically lab certified Kotan Jade. 
never been as low as what's on your screens right now if these don't sell out Ross I'll buy them rest of them I will and they'll just go they'll go in a safe place and I might look at them again in two years show the girlies show the girlies and one thing another thing that I'm uh, um, I'm doing with with gemstones particularly with the Jakes it's not as obvious if you're not in the business um, making sure that they're they're listed so people know what they are so put a tag on them saying this is Cotan Jade right yeah makes sense make because my, you know if you know if anything did happen my husband wouldn't know no my husband wouldn't know what it was no you know so I think that's really really important these are heirlooms never been at 195 pounds that is frankly ridiculous rosemary well done getting three the reality is do you know we are talking about one of the world's most expensive and one of the world's rarest gemstones and we've just brought it for 200 pounds yeah it, uh, how often how often are you going to see I don't know let's think about it a D flawless diamond that's like us doing similar do you see where I'm coming from but it's rarer significantly rarer than any diamond we had 26 available opportunities I've got 10 left Marion Heather and Jackie Rosemary's got three well done my darling Samantha Sharon Sally Mariska and Wendy we have never been anywhere near this price tag quite clearly um, and um, we never will be again I shouldn't imagine the reality is the only way that we've been able to offer you Cotan and that's this strand and I think there was a couple of others that we brought to you um, <clears throat> that are long gone Ooh, that are long gone was because we made literally an exchange of gemstones we do that quite a lot it's quite common actually within the gemstone world um, rather than actually being a monetary right how much is this price per carat on your cotan it'd be way out of our budget instead it's okay we had a parcel well not parcel sorry we bought boulders the, the our founder bought boulders alongside bernard um, did very well out of it sold some of it back into the industry that's how we've gained access we've done that with sleeping beauty turquoise before in the in the past david marion well done to you uh moy in essex good luck ruth good luck maker good luck sharon good luck to you oh no sharon you've got yours patricia in yorkshire amazing if any of these are still available come to the top of the show i am all over it absolutely all over it to say that you own cotan jade certified natural definitely definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity along this as well keep that documentation because it is absolutely without putting the price tag on it which this is the thing your your certificate of authenticity won't say 195 pounds no which which is good because it yeah. that's no reflection of the true value or worth i have four of these left what it will say is green cotan jade and it will say treatment not enhanced hence type a so you are sourcing the ultimate rarity um not price reflective on your screens right now the final four opportunities good luck everyone if everybody checks out it's sold out because we are actually over allocated on this one massive 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 congratulations to each and every single one of you um it is a beautiful gemstone and and again you've got that history literally in a 58 centimeter strand most people can only long and uh, and dream of owning a simple cabochon if you like a small cabochon you've got a full 58 centimeter strand well done the final few of those oh the pearl sold out earlier have you seen these? Um, gorgeous Dan, can you pass me that lovely gold bust just there? How many? There's 20 available. These are, if you loved your pearls and you saw the ones earlier on that sold out. Oh my mm. goodness. Why do I feel, I, uh, these are familiar. Isn't it funny when you see pearl strands, but yet yeah, something which is still classic it's very familiar look at those wow they are very impressive oh my goodness me they're beautiful aren't they mm. not them with silk gold clasp all day long oh yeah that's high-end yeah. jewelry high-end jewelry audrey hepburn yeah Inset. Look at the quality of those. The Orient, remember your five virtues where we talk about size, 
We talk about shape, these are your, your iconic rounds, nine to ten, 10 millimeter rounds. We talk about color, the pure whites. Then we talk about your nacre, how thick that nacre is. Well, these are nucleated, so you know that you've got thick nacre, which is why they have so much luster. Look at that quality. How many of these are available? 20 available opportunities. I'm going to ask you, Ross, have you, can you put the five, uh, the five virtues up? Quality factors, I think the GIA refer to them as. Because, again, just to solidify the fact, these aren't shell pearls. We know, about, we know about the current pearl situation. Whatever type, variety of pearl it is, we know of the current situation, don't we? So, how do we grade a pearl? We talk about the five virtues. The GIA, which there is no better authority in my eyes than the Gemological Institution of America. We have our own version as well here in the UK, um, but they are the largest institution um, in the gemstone world, and they say pearl quality factors. You can see some lovely photographs just there. In fact, look at the white pearls, um, and they're pretty similar. Pretty similar. Um, so they go on to say, the quality that determines the overall value of a natural or cultured pearl or a piece of pearl jewellery are size, shape, colour, lustre, surface quality, nacre quality, and for all jewellery with two or more, matching also plays its part. Um, okay, so when other value factors are equal, larger pearls are rarer, obviously, and more valuable than smaller pearls of the same size. So, yes, the larger the pearl, the more expensive they are. If they hit double digits, then absolutely... Um, it's like a diamond reaching a carrot. It leapfrogs at its price tag. Reading on. Shape. Round is the most difficult shape to culture. There, well, we could just finish that sentence there, couldn't we? Because we are talking yep. about round. That's because to get the perfect spherical, you can see on that diagram there, um, the ones at the top, perfectly spherical, then you've got slightly spherical, and then they go almost like a bit baroque at the bottom. If all other facts are equal, also, gener uh, um, also generally the most valuable. Uh, there are exceptions, though. Well-formed pears, ovals, or baroques, irregular shapes, culture pearls are, size, are prized by pearl lovers. Yeah, absolutely. But pearl, spherical pearls do still command the highest price tag. Colour. I mean, look at those pearls in that photograph. Sorry, I was just literally gravitated towards the image. Natural and cultured pearls occur in a broad range of hues. There are warm hues like yellow, oranges and pinks and cool hues like blue, green and violet. Pearls have a wide range of tone from light to dark. Pearl colour tends to be muted with a soft, subtle quality. So again, they're talking about the luminosity almost of that colour. Um, but also you can dye pearls also. Moving on. Uh, then they talk about overtones and undertones. So pill colours have three components. Body colour, which is the pill's dominant overall colour. Overtone is one or more translucent colours that lie over the pill's body colour. And the orient is a shimmer of iridescent rainbow colours. Um, on or just below the pearl surface, and there's an image there under magnification that you can see used on Tahitian pearls. Tahitian pearls do show those overtones and undertones far... Um, easier a white pearl though quite often will take on the colors of its surroundings so it will re uh, reflect your skin tone as well beautifully read, read it on the law of supply and demand determines the value of certain pearl uh, colors at any given time if supplies of um, high quality pearls displaying a preferred color are low their price can uh, rise to an unusually high level other complex factors like fashion trends and cultural traditions can influence color preferences well we've we're seeing that today more than ever don't you think with the current situation now we have 20 available opportunities when we imagine a pearl necklace you know certainly when i was a, when i was a girl if i imagined a pearl ne necklace it was something like this yeah and as I've mentioned today, I'm watching the crown at the moment. So there's a lot of pearls to be seen on the crown. I've had Marbe pearls with uh, mm. uh, Margaret Thatcher wearing her Marbe pearl earrings, which were quite iconic. And of course, Her Royal Highness wearing um, her triple row pearl necklace. Much smaller than these, though. When we imagine the classic pearl necklace, it's something like this, isn't it? We have 20 available opportunities. And last but no means least, luster. 
Of the seven pearl value factors, luster might be the most important. Luster is what gives a natural culture pearl its unique beauty, and I totally agree with that. It's the most important of the five virtues. Excellent where the reflections, look at the, di the, the image as well. Excellent where the reflections appear bright and sharp. Very good, reflections appear bright and near sharp. Good, and so on and so on. I'm not going to bother reading the others because yours obviously don't go anywhere near that. The graphics are live, beautifully graduated. Knotting this on an 18 karat gold class, I think would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. We cannot access freshwater pearls anymore. We can't. We can get Edison. That was what our pearl buyers told us recently. Look at that luster. Look at the quality of that luster. We sold out of the previous pearls. And this is going to do the same. Okay. Your first price crash is not your final price crash for a full 38 centimetre strand. If you're walking down Place Vendôme or down Hatton Garden or Bond Street or Milan or any of those places and you were looking in, you're pressing your noses against the posh windows of those luxury jewellers, you'd see something like this, wouldn't you? Say that again. The first price that you're about to see, times it by 10. That'll be a bit more realistic. And by the way, we still won't be done. Not where we are closing. Sally, well done. Rosemary, well done. Manchester, well done. Not leaving anything for chance. I have 20 available. Not stopping. Imagine this with your Kotan. Goodness me. I agree. Times it by 10. Yep. That's more realistic. Yep. Not where we're closing, though. I've got 20 available opportunities, Jewelry Makers. The days of us bringing you... Do you remember when we used to do Pearl Weekends here at Jewelry Maker? Can't do that now. Can't do Pearl Hour now. Let alone weekends because the mar the market has massively changed yes supply hugely influenced but it's also the demand the global demand in particular the chinese demand for pearls freshwater pearls they're not being exported why because well we'll buy them say at 199 pounds the chinese market very affluent at the moment yeah. their economy is absolutely booming will pay fortunes for quality pearls like this so we're just being priced out effectively get them whilst you can jewelry makers in nine seconds we are going even lower it's the classic the icon and um, the iconic pearl necklace not your closing price these are a staggering size in perfect rounds and today First pearl strand that we bought you sold out. How 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 are these one two nine? To be honest, I mean, how are they two nine nine? There's only twenty available. We need the locations within the vault. Madness that we're saying that. Our pearl buy-in, honestly, has always been. And I've said it so many times on air. Regular viewers will back me up on this has always been one of our greatest strengths. Yeah, I'll back you up on that as well. Yeah. We can't say that anymore. No. Because we can't buy them. The so one is. of our greatest strengths is, is pearl buying. Our hands are tied now. Mm. If Charlie Barron yeah. can't source pearls, yeah. then what, what hope do we have? And he's a sixth generational pearl harvester. That's quite sad, isn't it? We, if, what chance do we have? You've got the likes of Cartier who will, who will pay a pretty penny for them. Yeah. What chance do we have? But the reality is, not even Cartier, not even Tiffany's and Co. The West aren't getting the same opportunities in pearls anymore because they freshwater pearls aren't being exported. We can bring you Edison's, but they expect the price to go up. A minute... And then we will have to move on, jewelry makers. A hundred. That's madness, isn't it? It's still one of my favourite gemstones. Oh, without a doubt, I think it's got to be probably up there with everyone's, hasn't it? And look how beautiful that is. It's classic, isn't it? Beyond. And again, imagine yourself walking down. I don't know, Bond Street, Hatton Garden. It's good enough for royalty. It, absolutely. It says a lot, doesn't it? It's not out of place, is it? <laughs> Knotted perfectly with a beautiful clasp. 
the, the price is almost rude. <laughs> It is. Uh, uh, you know? Do you know, and this is why I'm, we don't make our own job easy, to be truthful, sometimes, because yeah. we underprice, and people almost question it then. Yeah. Um, and I do appreciate it. That's why I, I do understand that. That's why I always say, no reflection on the true value worth. No reflection on the true value of worth. Yeah. Because I've brought you, per, uh, listen, I've brought, back when I was at the jewellers, I, I used to sell, I used to look after the bill cabinet at the jewellers 25 years ago. They weren't anywhere near that price then. No, no way near. Thousands of pounds, 25 years ago. Well done, well done, well done. Look at those. Okay, now, um, our team went over to Hong Kong recently and uh, they went, usually it's for pearl buying yep. and jade. That's why they would go to Hong Kong at the beginning of every year. They do Tucson and then they do Hong Kong. Two suns, more for your colour gemstones, your rubies, your sapphires, those kind of things. Uh, diamonds as, as well. Hong Kong is more about pearls, jades. That's what that's all about. However, for the first time ever, the team went to Hong Kong knowing that they were never going to buy pearls, knowing that they most likely wouldn't buy any jade. Um, it was more for footage, updates on prices, which is invaluable to us as well. However, they did return with a variety of jade. It's one of the hottest varieties of jade that is now being commissioned in Cartier. If you go to Cartier, they have a, they are launching a bangle. I don't know if they've done that as of yet. Um, but also they commissioned their cactus to Cartier, um, which features some tiny, tiny, tiny little salmon scarn rounds, maybe three, four millimeters in their size. It's like the inside scoop keep telling yeah well they're, they're they're cool they're very very cool very dynamic you know I, it's one of them you either love or you hate it i think kind of designs but the choice of gemstone i think is absolutely genius they could have chosen let's be honest cartier budget they could have chosen any gem they wished they could have gone zavrite couldn't they they could have chosen i don't know a demantoid or or the finest quality emerald they chose a little known gemstone at the time that is san and scan here it is That's a ring. Set in 18 karat gold. The, tie, the diamonds are minuscule, by the way. Look at the price. Mm. 91,000, which is 20 grand, that ring. It's a big car. Look at the quality of the uh, sand and scan as well, can I just say. Very opaque. Yeah. Remember earlier on we spoke about sand and scan. It is your opportunity to get imperial green in a variety of jade without the imperial or the Burmese imperial green price tag. But it is still being used by Cartier. So there's the bracelet. Which again, if the ring's 20 grand, God goodness knows how much this is. Jewelry ed editorial shoot with Cactus to Cartier. Discover all things radiant from Cartier and new and the new Cactus to Cartier collection. This exquisite, the exquisitely prickly flower, unlike any other, um, shines bright in our October issue, dedicated to fine jewelry and more. And you can see Middle East exclusive yellow gold, sun and scan, and diamond necklace. It's the green is this beautiful gemstone that's totally natural, but it is very rare. San and Scan gemstones are recently discovered and found in Western Pakistan. These gems are known for their striking green color due to a presence of chrome. At Afia Jewelry, we cut San and Scan into slabs for pendants, showcasing a un unique contrast between the gemstone's natural appearance and polished metal. The rarity uh, of occurrence makes it uh, a distinct gemstone, meaning it should be handled carefully. Uh, what they're saying is, it's a rare gemstone. Don't mess up the cutting. Right. Don't mess up the cutting. So rare that if you go on to their, their own website, there's none available. None available. And we've seen that before, haven't we, across different websites too. San and Scan forms, I think, a really rich chromium green colour, but if you can imagine it in its rough form, it flakes 
it's very 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 fragile in its here we go that that yeah look look at how rare that almost looks like it's the green the chromium rich color is just dusted over the top like you would do icing mm. on top of a cake yeah, yeah. so you're going to get very 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 little sand and scan from those boulders and when you do cut into it it's powdery during the cuttering process so it's difficult to retain that carrot weight the yield is huge now unbelievably we're about to bring you a full 38 centimeter strand and you know i keep saying if you want the imperial green color without an imperial green price tag still a variety of jade still totally natural salmon scarn's the way forward but get it now because it's very new as soon as the world hears about salmon scarn what's going to happen i have two strands eight millimeters and i also have some brand new nuggets to bring you Remember how opaque the, the um, Cartier ones were? Wait until you see this. This is one of the lowest price tags that you'll ever see on Sand and Scarn. It's brand new. Look at that colour. It's, it's your opportunity to channel your inner Barbara Hutton, isn't it? It looks beautiful against the skin. Better, on the stand, uh, better off the stands than yeah. on it, doesn't it? Yeah, because it glows, doesn't it? Yeah. How many do we have, Ross? 18 okay mm. i would knot that or maybe put some little rubies in between Ooh. or just a single gold space of aid yeah for me gorgeous Meanwhile. magnetic yes. clasp absolutely again this is totally and utterly natural the cactus to cartier have featured maybe three four millimeter size stones they're quite mottled do you see that little mm. black inclusions mm -hmm. yours glows with translucency and chromium rich color that's natural it was launched in august last year i have 18 available opportunities it's breathtakingly beautiful and i'm going to say it but can i be uh, can i be controversial because I think Sand and Scarn is one of the most beautiful varieties of jade. Don't you? Yeah. It's all about the green. It's only green. Yeah. But when you talk about like, never mind the rarity, never mind the rarity, the mining, the history, and all of that. If you were to look at all the green gemstones, this is. For me, this is in a world of its own. Right up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah, Zavrite. It's... It just has that something that just is amplified let's go straight to that price tag jewelry makers i love this imagine knotting that with a gold clasp yeah, yeah that'd be amazing stunning, wouldn't it there are 18 available opportunities <clears throat> unbelievable again can i also just say this can you imagine mixing it with your pearls? That is a great combo. Oh, and then it would become like a lovely long line necklace, sand and scarn and pearls. Yes, please. What would that be on first dibs? Oh, goodness knows. Silly money, wouldn't Silly it? Silly money, yeah, absolutely. Knotting it as well, separate them. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Lovely. Look how it illuminates the sand and scarn yeah. as well. Really lights it up. We've got 18 available at £199. You've still got your 0% interest split payment as well, which is crazy. £39.80. Again, I love Cartier. I love the jewellery. I love this style. I think they're quite out there as well on occasions, which I think is quite bold um, with this launch. But again, it's the choice. It's the fact they could have gone for any green gemstone, couldn't they? They could have gone with Zabrite. They could have done. They could have gone with Imperial Jade. They could have done. Because let's be honest, Imperial Jade's been stockpiled. There's lots of that. There's not lots of Sand and Scarn. I think it was quite a bold move on their part. Yeah, definitely. Taking a gem that's not, only just been discovered is astonishingly rare, but I understand their choice. Look how beautiful that colour is. Mariska in Surrey, Fife, well done. Margaret in Tyne and Ware, congratulations. You've got your five-way split pay as well. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets on this. I've got the rounds and I've got the nuggets. So it's all down to your personal preference um, of shape. The final few of those. Let's do... Really? Oh. Okay, hang on a minute. It's intriguing. I'm just going to put this strand on the back of my hand. I'm not doing this yet, but I'm just putting it on the back of my hand and you'll see why.
we have 150. And this, I remember, Ross, what you said earlier on, might well be one of the most affordable sand and scarn opportunities you ever see. Oh. Not have seen, might well be one of the most affordable sand and scarn opportunities you ever see. We know that Cartier are launching their own bangle. We wanted to do a San and Scarn bangle, right. but unfortunately, they're all bought already <laughs> by Cartier. Okay. So we know they are going to be launching it. We are working with, you're working with, more importantly, that same beautiful material. Look at that alongside your pearl nuggets That's as well. That's so tactile, isn't it? That looks lush. Oh, for the spring and summer months that are oh. coming. It's going to be glorious this, month, this yeah, week, yeah. isn't it? Natural San and Scarn certified genuine we've got 150 of these available hang on a minute hang on a minute roscoe is there something going on with my call screens hang on a minute i, I know i guess ross is like hell oh, we've just opened the auction i was like i know no but 150 of these and you're promising the lowest price tag that we we may ever do on sand and scarn. Look at the size of them, they're small. Especially when that Cartier cactus one was, what, four mil? Yeah, even in the rough form, you can't imagine getting that much yield out of it, can you? Those are... When you see the boulders Yeah, on, yes, yes. You can see how granular yes. it is, can't you? Yeah, so to oh. be able to have that is quite special. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Big so carrot. carrot weight, natural sand and scarn. It's a variety of nephrite jade, a new discovery. And I think one of the most beautiful. The price on your screen? Just to get the wheels in motion, not where we're stopping. I've got 150 available. Just, to, just for starters, that is. A taster. They're not small nuggets. I don't want to call no. them nuggets. They're tumbles. Yes. Oh, is that what our graphic says? Amazing. Tumbled nuggets. Yeah. They're, they're too big to be nuggets. Look how each and every single one, one of them glow. That chromium rich, natural, genuine gemstone. Can you imagine, again, sorry to keep using this description, uh, this analogy, but can you imagine if we were there when Kashmir Sapphire was first discovered? You know, we are looking at, Sanon Skarn is in its infancy. In its infancy it's to the gemstone cusp, world. It's on the cusp, isn't it? It's on, on the cusp. The cusp. Straight away, you've got Cartier saying, yes, please. I'll be adding yeah. that to my amazing jewellery. And I understand why. Totally understand why. So we're getting an opportunity, a window of opportunity. We, we, we rarely see in certain gems where infancy, and then it goes through the roof. Yeah. goes silly prices. Yeah. It happened. We've, we've brought Russian Alexandrite to air here before, at Gemporia. Is it a brief window? Very brief. Yeah. You see the price of Russian Alexandrite now. Oh, We've brought you Brazilian Praeber Tourmaline before at Gemporia. See the price of Brazilian Praeber Tourmaline now? Yes. Astronomical. Unreachable. Unreachable. So who knows? It might be Sand and Scar next. Haven't seen Grand Digerite in about a year. Absolutely. Well, we were silly with our prices there, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Can't buy it like that now. Another price. Not where we are stopping, $49.99. But it's lush, it's beautiful, it's natural, it's new, it's exciting, it's vivacious and glowing, and we're not even stopping there. Crazy. If the most attractive, the most valuable variety of Burmese jade is Imperial, that's what we've been programmed, haven't we? That's yep. what they've said, Imperial, Imperial, yep. Imperial. Most expensive, most expensive. Stockpiled it over the years. Amazing, and it is, it's millions, absolutely oh. millions. <laughs> Have you just seen the price? Yeah. Don't even lower though. You know, this is the same. It looks the same. I'm not saying it's the same gem. This is a nephrite jade. Imperial is a, is a jadeite jade. It's still a jade. But visually, they're the same. Yeah. That forestry green is just oh, it's lush, otherworldly, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah. We're at $29.99. And we are not stopping there, lovely jewelry makers. It's brand new. We've got 150 available. Once they're gone, they're gone, especially at this next price tag. The lowest price we may ever see on San and Scarn, says Roscoe. 
For the carrot weight, the size, yeah, it's got to be up there. I agree. Even here, Ross, it's got to be up there. Yeah. Such a, a rare gemstone that you can see from its boulders that literally looks like someone's literally dusted the green across the surface, like you would do ice a cake. 20, 19 pounds and 99 pence. <laughs> for so, get it while you can. Get two. Yeah. I would have two, yeah. Make it go even further. One for me, one to sell. Yeah. Yeah, a bit as, greedy like that. As a Sorry. collector, you're a new collector straight away. Yeah. So how many was it? One, two, three, four, five. So let's say three mil stones oh, of yeah, sand and scarm not. with the diamonds. Yes, there's a big amount of sterling silver on that ring. How much was it? Nineteen grand. Yeah. Just shy of twenty grand. Hmm. We're not. Just so you know, we're not running out of gold or diamonds. By the no, way. no. Sand and scarm is is very very rare. And here we are bringing it to you at 19.99. That's why so many of you are multi-buying on this. Yeah. I love, the, I, I've, I've put these together because I think they really complement the pearls. You know, your beautiful sort of tumbled organic shapes of your pearls. That might be coming up a little bit later on. Sandra multi-buying, Susan multi-buying, Marion's got three, Alison's multi-buying, Samantha's got three, Mariska's got three, Jane's got two, Linda, Anne-Marie, Shirley, Cornwall, Valerie. Ah, oh, jewellery makers, it's been a mega Friday. Um, as we step into your rarity weekend, this absolutely firmly slots itself within that description. Yeah, we are launching your rarity weekend with Sam and Scarn. We're fortunate. You know, you've got to remember we have got the likes of Dave, Jake, Steve, multiple gem stars, lovely uh, gem buyers, lovely Rachel who works with us, who work tirelessly. Georgia, Wayne, don't forget Wayne. You know, Wayne, I think, I've, I've said this many times before. I think Wayne is one of the gest, best gemstone buyers we've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, without doubt. I genuinely, genuinely yeah. believe that. Um, you know, the fact that he sources the rare, but he also sources the, um, the quality and mm. amazing prices. Anyway, they work tirelessly to bring you opportunities like this. A gemstone that's little known. It's not known yet yet yeah because it's the, in its infancy yeah, that that's why we read key. that website mm -hmm. newly discovered that's why you're getting prices like this in the past that we when we when we had opportunities to bring you russian alexandrite brazilian prema tourmaline and they were affordable then didn't realize at the time did we like the cotan we didn't realize although we do with the cotan didn't realize at the time the imminent rise in price this is natural San and Scarn Nephrite Jade, and you're getting it today for £16.99. pence. These are huge. Cartier's working with it. That's all we need to know, really, isn't it? Um, incredibly rare. We had 150 of them. Half the stock's gone. We've just passed it, everyone. Um, so if you're waiting, don't wait too long on this one. Loads of multi buyers, lots of twos and threes I can see getting allocated. Your Wall of Fame is coming up, jewelry makers. Uh, plus, we have got Charlie's amazing masterclass all about the Boodles inspired rain dance ring. So I'm very excited about that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So can't wait to. Uh, and we've got tools as well coming got up. Tools. Yeah. We've got settings, tools, precious metals, gemstones. Yeah. The lot. Very exciting. So don't go anywhere, jewelry makers. Make sure you check out your baskets on your sand and scarf. We had 150, but they're absolutely flying out the door. Wall of Fame coming your way after this.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours they're going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux fordite. We've got it in four different colourways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful, hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the Fordite stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak. This incredible peacock Kiss Cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colourway and also a black and white which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Okay, jewelry makers, are you ready for your wonderful creations? Is this what we were talking about? Oh, uh, the Morse code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be. Take it away. Could you be. read Let's the first one. Let's have a look. So the first one is two four two Margaret Anderson. I made this Morse code bracelet for our daughter-in-law with our late son's name. Oh, Keith. bless you, Margaret. That's lovely. Isn't that it? is beautiful. I love the sentiment behind yeah, that, that as well, and she's always gotten them, hasn't that's she? That's it, it's very special. Close. Beautiful, close. Margaret, amazing. Um, we were literally talking about it this morning, weren't mm. we, Morse code? How amazing is this? Some lovely wire work here from Janet Ray. Hello to you, Janet, you're number 243. Hello, lovely jewelry maker folk. Here's my, my current waffering. Um, a druzy pendant in plated silver wire. Um, my first bit of wire weaving for a while, but it just happened. Everything from your wonderful jewelry maker folk, and I thank you every day. Take care, hugs to all, lots of hugs to you as well. 
Bit of druzy. I love that. I like her bale as well. The bale's Very great. Very nice. Mm. Loving that. Very um, cute. Your number 243. Okay, so next we have 244 Sharon Saunders. Hello, JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's from one of Mark's kits. Blue agate, Branca onyx, silver spacers and bale. And the beautiful carved fish. All from JM except the magnetic shell clasp I got from your sister channel, which I thought went very well with the marine theme. All the best, everyone. I love that blue. It's gorgeous, Pops, isn't it? Doesn't and it? those little fish. And the little fish. Beautiful, I love isn't that. they? One of those non aerodynamic fish. <laughs> yeah. You know the ones that kind of just swim like that. Great big buggy eyes. Buggy yeah. eyes and just yeah, they're not they're not streamlined. <laughs> if I was a fish, I'd be that, <laughs> that fish. One. I'd be that fish. <laughs> um this is very elegant from Alison Quince. Alison, you're number two hundred and fifty-five. Dear jewelry maker team and fellow waffers, loved Liam's visit a few weeks back and have been busy making um, with all the delightful mother of pearl shapes. But I decided that I had to keep something back from me. So here is my lariat style with uh, two donuts. Um, I finished, sorry, I used fine Prince of Wales unfinished chain. Um, with crimson covers um, and a double silicon slider, everything is from Jewelry Maker. Hope you like it. Must admit, it's a current favourite for me to wear. Good luck to all in the drawer. I can see why, Alison. That's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'd love wearing that. That looks fabulous. Yeah, beautiful. A little bit like the Princess of Wales, kind of asymmetric. Yeah. Loving theme. that. Only a couple of entries this week, yes. uh, this Friday. So do get your photographs in. Remember, um, Message, the only stipulation is that they're jewelry maker products, effectively, and you get entered into a draw. We do it every week. Runner-up will receive £50. Pounds. Um, winner will receive £100. It's not done on merit. It's literally picked out of a tombola. So you get might as well in. get your entries get in. in. Absolutely. Um, OK. Now, wow. <laughs> I've mentioned this before, Charlie. When, you've, when we first met for the first time, it was in the canteen, wasn't it? Yeah. And there was a big crowd of Britain's Next Gems hopefuls, yep. uh, of which you were, you were one. And I remember, and you were just to my left, and I looked down and Charlie had this lovely box full of beautiful jewellery, and I was like, oh. And you said, what do you do? And I went, I'm a caretaker. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> what, you're a kid? It was pieces like this that yeah. literally, I remember, I'll never forget that moment. I rem it's jewellery just like this. Just wow, Charlie. They're absolutely incredible. And your talent, well, it's that, is, funny, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? I think all jewellery makers see their own flaws in their work, don't they? So, our own, for, well, yeah, our, our own worst critic, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. And I do strive for perfection, sometimes to my own detriment. It drives me up the wall sometimes. But I think that's part and, part and parcel of wow. being a crafty person, isn't it? You always want to do better than the next I'm better than the next. So one day I might get to the end and go, I'm happy with that. But I always see something that I would change, maybe do a little bit different. But that's why these, um, this project in particular is really good for that because there's so many avenues you can go down with this one. Day. You can create a whole collection yeah. just from this one design. Really? More mm, oh, easily. And I mean, is the inspiration Boodles? Yes, so I was... It's a bit of a funny one, this one. So I was approached with it and um, they suggested it. And I said, yep, that's okay, that's fine. And then there was a problem with delivery and it was delayed and then it was delayed again and then delayed again. So in the end, they were like, can you just use whatever you've got? And then when the products come, we'll send them to you and you can double check the sizes, make sure they're all right, which I've got here just to show you. I've got the sample pack. Um, so what I did was, because I didn't know what material I was going to be working with for the project and what you guys were going to be given, I did one in a round wire, one in a half round, and one in a square wire. And then I've got one just on the go that's Whoa. both, that's um, square and half round. So, but again, you don't, like last week, you don't, you don't have to solder them together and it's one of the last stages. So you don't have to do it. I know it looks a bit of a mess because it's still under construction, but you can see that the square wires at the top and the half round at the bottom. So, and then I did a different sort of setting just to, Mix it up. up a bit. I yeah. love it. I absolutely love it. And we've, we've been talking at length about about Alhambra, haven't we? You know, this is an iconic design, isn't it? That wonderful kind of uh, um, cluster. Yeah. Um, and like I said, Emma, I know Emma Thompson uh, wears the what's it called? The rain dance. Yeah, the rain dance ring. 
Which, by the way, the costume. I was dancing in the rain wearing this. Oh, <laughs> absolutely, Charlie! They're absolutely stunning. Thank you. Absolutely stunning. I love every single one of those. Now, um, each of your purchases, so your kit purchases or project purchases, will come with your written instructions, mm -hmm. written by yours tru uh, truly, lovely Charlie. So, um, even down to tells you approximately what time, what you're going to need. Yeah, everything you need in there. Um, the projects have got your stones as well, and there's um, a tool that'll help you mm. bring the whole piece together at the end. I, I just ignore the time. It takes as long as it takes. If it takes you three days, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not a rush. Is no, it? exactly. And that's I think that's the most important thing. Don't rush through it. And although it looks like a challenging piece, once you break it down into manageable pieces, it's actually quite straightforward. Wow. Mm. It's not the easiest thing for me to demo here to you because obviously I don't have a bench peg. So what I'm going to do is run through a couple of problems that you might have. Yeah. And then hopefully tick those off the box before you even get your project. So when you do come to do it, it will be so much easier for and you. And you have the instructions to reference mm, anyway, don't definitely. you? Definitely. Um, okay. Sorry, sorry, what was that? Say that again. I can't hear you. Here's the ring, the rain dance ring. Here's the rain dance ring. Um, Eleven thousand seven hundred pounds. Out for that rain dance ring. I tend to not look at these things. I tend not to look at things I really, really can't afford. So when they approached me with this, I was like, oh, this is a nice idea. But mm. then when I actually went looking, it was like, <gasps> yeah, out. Jeez. Yeah. Ouch. But yeah. We, we can make that together for a fraction of the cost and you can sell it at whatever price tag you like. Well, this is the thing. We bring you the gemstones. We can bring you the yeah. calibrate. We're bringing stones today. The perfect collection for you to do your version of. And it's one of a kind. Yours is one of a kind. Yeah. That's but this the reality. Is the there's, there's no two will be the same. No. Even if you plan to make it the same, there'll always be something slightly, slightly different. different. Yeah. So it's quite unique, really. Wow. Charlie, they're absolutely beautiful. So, okay, now um, let's show you um, the items that you actually get. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, lovely. Amazing. Can we just oh, scoot that one. that one over as well? So that you way. get two different varieties of your wire. So you've got a flat wire, which if I hold it up first, you can oh, see, or square. square, square wire. Yeah. Just like it. Of which, look at that. Is that a 30 centimetre length? Yeah, that's definitely 30 centimetres. So can, you can't quite see it there, but if I was to turn it that way towards Adam, you will notice... it's about 1.5. Without measuring. I haven't measured it because I wasn't sent it. That's a lot of silver. Oh, yeah. You'll make loads of rings out of that. There'll be loads do, left over. We used to do that length. <laughs> we did. How many? Yeah, 30 centimetres. So we've got the square, and then if I hold the other one next to it, you'll see the difference. Is that your half round? Uh, yes. yes, or D-shaped. Yeah, 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 D-shaped. So you can see the difference between the two: solid sterling silver, both thirty centimeter lengths. So whichever you choose, or whether you get both, um, they both come with. If I was to put them like this, you'll get an idea: a selection of your gemstone mounts that Charlie will obviously talk us through. So. How are we looking at what? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, I think there's four 1.5 mils. I can't quite remember. Um, I can one tell you that. Six mil, one, four, two, four mil, two, three mil, and four 1.5. I'm sorry, I'd have to double check. We could, have we got the specifications? We're just having a little look now. Um, okay, so yeah, we can give you those details. But again, they are, f they are, um, they will fit calibrated sizes, which we regularly yep. bring to you, like the zircon that we had this morning. Yeah, they'd well, be what amazing. A steal they were, yeah, pounds. silly prices. <laughs> but I did, yeah, I know, bonkers. <laughs> I have checked. So when they sent the sample pack to me, I checked the stones <coughs> against all the settings, so you won't have a problem setting the stones. You can just drop them straight in, and I'll just point out and highlight what the perfect height is. Okay. But there's no, there's no work to the seating. So what was that, sorry? A one by six, a two by four, a two by three, and a four by two. Oh, two mil. I yeah, it was one okay. Two mil. Yeah. So they will, they will fit the calibrated stones. We've also got, coming your way as well, this tool. What's this? <laughs> it's your ceramic ring stick. Now I thought oh. I'll bring that with me and not open it because I know a lot of people will open it and go, 
Uh, I don't think that's right, but it is, and I'll show you. So you just tighten everything up, don't you, basically? Yep, and it'll come to you. Eh. Once I get it open. And you look at it and you think, eh. So you get that bit, and you get that bit. Yep. And you're that, oh, hang on, that's not quite right. The clamp's in here. And there we are. It just scoots you over a little bit. There you go. Perfect. But then you get that. But then you get this. So you would clamp them in at the same time. You would hook on the one side and hold it and then hook on the other side. If the gap's big enough, let me open it a bit. I haven't actually, I thought I'll unwrap this live on air. Great idea. There you go. And then you, you would close it nice and tight. So it's like a ball and socket joint. There yes. You go. Yeah, there you go. So there you are. Super quick, took a second. Took a second yeah. to do. So um, don't don't panic. Perfect. So that's your ceramic ring. Uh, ceramic ring holder. So yeah. there you go. So also available. Do you want to take it up? Ross, what? <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? Kits or the ring holder? We'll have Which a quick one? talk about the ring holder. Okay. Um, and it is literally just so that when you come to the end, or actually when you're in the beginning of it, and if let's say you decide you make you wanted to make two sets of um two sets of rings. Mm. Is yours nice and tight? No. Neither is mine. One second. So you just use your fingers to tighten it? Yeah, I mean, really, you should use a screwdriver, but anyway, okay. we get the idea. So you can slide on uh, as many rings as you want on this. So if you wanted to um, solder, let's say you do three rings for this ring and then four rings for this ring. So you need to do seven rings, don't you? You can literally line up all of your rings on this one piece. Solder a ring, knock it off solder another ring, knock it off, ah. and keep going, like a, almost like a production line. What I will point out is when these are brand new, um, they might, you, you, when you flux your pieces, they might want to stick to each other. So a, a tip with these, heat it up before you use it. Like, get it, get it quite hot, you know, because ceramic is, can be a little bit like a heat sink. But when you come to, uh, where's the other one? So if we're here, and we'll talk about the settings in a sec. So we've got multiple settings on that ring. When you pop them together, you can line up all your rings together and your settings won't wobble off. So if you haven't got a nice secure fit, I'll show you how to alter the settings to be able to do that. Um, it, it won't go anywhere. But if it is taking a little bit longer than you'd like, lift it up a little. It's a bit too far down here. So with your tweezers in your hand, you would ra just raise it up ever so slightly. And just by doing that, it'll make the solder go whoop. And it, it, easy peasy. So these are really handy for that. And again, when you've got all your three rings bunched together, and it does go through it more in depth um, in the instructions. You can come when you come to soldering, you use your tweezers and you can just pinch them together if they're not quite doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so, this is a really handy tool to have in your arsenal. Wow, okay. Well, the graphics are live for this one ceramic rod with holder on base. Is that there what it's go. called? Ceramic rod. There you go. Uh, to be fair, I mean, it's one of those things that is actually quite handy to have. Um, and I, I have been known to line up studs across the top here. So you can literally solder in one go. So if, let's say you've got six pairs of studs, that's a lot of earrings, isn't it? But if you, obviously it'd be tighter because you'll tighten it up at home properly and you can line up. So your um, uh, ear posts are pointing one way and your, say your bezels are pointing the other way and you can turn it and solder them all in one go yeah. without them running off anywhere. Because I can imagine when you're soldering and working with a sort of your, your precious metals, mm -hmm. um, obviously having both pairs of hands is a really oh, big thing. Definitely. You need to have both pairs of hands, yeah, don't you? Definitely. So this is that third hand that in a effect. Big difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to do this in one price crash. How many do we have, Ross? 80 available. Oh, that's quite few. That's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. But when you see this price, I'm guessing, and it's a bit of kit. Wow, hey, it's a bit of kit great. that you're not going to have to replace every day, isn't it? Oh no, definitely not. And to, to be honest, I don't think you'll ever need to replace the ceramic stick. I've ne I've never replaced mine. I have got one. I bought one right in the beginning of my journey, um, and I, I couldn't bring it with me because it's absolutely <laughs> revolting to look at. Because it will go, it'll it'll stain and colour because it's it's like an old shoe, you know. Um, so this one's nice and pretty, but it it's will last loved. you forever. It's loved. It's loved. <laughs> I that's need to remember it that. Uh, it's not well worn. No, it's loved. <laughs> it's well loved. 
Um, but they are handy to have. And 20 quid. Oh, it's now, is it? Yeah, it's for, now, for something it? that you are going to use like repeatedly. Yeah, definitely. And if you've got the little turntable, it's quite handy to have that there as well because if you've got multiple settings, and as you can imagine, you've got lots of settings, we'll use the example one, lots of settings say heavier on this side, but you need to turn around. You can use your turntable and do it that way as well. So you don't actually have to take the flame off your work at any no. point. So it's really quite handy to have. Fabulous, mm. amazing. Remember, if you've got any questions for Charlie, um, make sure you do text in. Loads of you getting involved on this one. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And it's, look, if I can put it together, anybody can. <laughs> we and just did that with no tools. Yeah, and that speaks volumes, doesn't it? I've got a screwdriver. Um, <laughs> um, basically just a, ooh, ooh. <laughs> And it's solid and robust as well. There you go. <laughs> and you just tighten it up here, basically. So tighten yeah, it's it up just there. Just a screwdriver. You'll be right. Job done. Um, and nicely weighted too. Yes. That's see, very important. Bit. Yeah, especially if you've got multiple rings on there and it's taken you a really long time to get those settings on that piece. You don't want it to just blah, off fall it. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. No, so definitely it's good. not. We had 80 of these. Look at the core screens. They've gone crazy. Well done. Oh, it's handy. It, it is. It is a handy tool. It is. And we've got, again, the silver wire with the gem settings and we've got the loose stones all to bring you. Are they available on pre-order? Everything is on pre-order as Brilliant. we speak. As we speak. So... Um, make sure you're checking out your baskets. Okay. So, let's bring the wire yeah, in do. and then we'll dive into the demonstration. And you've got your loose stones. It's all available on pre-order. So I'll leave that with you. Do you want to do flat or the D-shape first? Either or. Either or. I ain't fussy. The square wire. Let's do the square wire first. Okay. So, that, again, I love square wire because you get this lovely luster mm -hmm. across it's almost it. like a facet isn't it yes mm. that's a perfect description now again 30 centimeters you're getting here you're gonna get loads aren't you loads and loads that's a lot of, of ring that. shanks oh yeah easy and then some you'll st you'll always have a little bit left over and a little tip you can flatten it out to turn it into a um, a setting if you want to add another setting and you've run out so you it's already in theory a rectangular shape once you've flattened yeah. it out so it, you can use every little tiny scrap Look at that. Again, a thick piece of wire as well. We used to, I remember us doing like your square wire, your D-shaped wire, round wire, all those. But again, the, the, the square, initially these were much shorter, yeah. much, much shorter, which is fine because you can still make rings out of them. But oh, you're, yeah. getting, you're getting, uh, um, what, 30 centimetres? You're getting oodles and boodles. Oodles and boodles, exactly, for your boodles ring. Oh, oh. Um, then you get your gemstone settings. What, what do we call these as, again? Tube sets, is that right? Yep, yeah. Tube settings, yep. um, which will fit your calibrated size stones. So again, you can see, I'm gonna bring one of these amazing rings over for you to see the inspiration just behind. So beautiful, Charlie, so, so, so beautiful. See, square wire for me is, is essential. You guys don't list it as essential, but for me in my workshop, I use a lot of square wire. Do you? So I'm hoping that it's gonna be something that will keep coming your way because it is, is universal almost yeah i can see that i can definitely say that if you see, and we're doing more and more silversmithing mm. now aren't we so yeah um 99.99 for all that ground weight of precious metal for the gem set so that will fit perfectly and that you can see in this beautiful ring we've got loose stones to bring you as well in this hour they're all available on pre-orders remember that <coughs> your project if you purchase uh, um, the project it comes alongside with charlie's instructions as well um, and you can mix the, the sort of the textures of your wire, mix oh, your gemstones. Yeah. You know, Boodle's piece was add a little charm. Oh. You could the little bee charms you had this morning. You can slide Very one of those nice. on in between the bars. You wow. can cut out and have negative space. Honestly, the, my mind were blowing. I couldn't hone in just how many things I wanted to make with this one design. And appro approximately, I know it depends on sort of the the tube settings, but. How about this length of wire? How many ri rings do you reckon you could you could create? Oh, at least six, eight, ten. It, like you say, it depends on the size, doesn't it? And yeah. if you're anything like me, I tend to make a couple of sizes smaller and then stretch it out, so yeah. you'll always get more out of it. Yeah, amazing. Uh, 49.99, again, any messages, do text in. How many do we have, Ross? 60, oh, okay. Not your price, though. Going even lower. Let's hope it does make its way into essentials. Oh, I do. I, I, I really do hope so. <gasps> hey, that's bad.
£29.99 pence only for all that precious metal gram weight. And the settings, the settings are pre-cut. You know, that, that's a time yeah. saver. It's, it's, it's a fantastic deal, is that. I'll show you how to uh, modify the bottoms of the settings to make it fit what you want it to fit and, and maybe solder in a slightly different way. But there's no solder seams, they're immaculately finished and they're highly polished, so I literally couldn't fault them. Wow. Wow, well, ha well over half the stock's gone now. We only had 60. Look at the call screens. I've got two full rows of names and multi buyers on there as well. This oh, will sell so out. Much fun. This will sell out, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. We've got the D shaped wire to bring you as well. That's quite a, that's quite a, um, a traditional shape, isn't it? D shaped wire. Yeah, Obviously definitely. Wedding bands, yeah, isn't it? very much so. I get asked for it a lot as well. And um, you do get comfort fit, but that's when it's slightly curved on the inside. But you can do that yourself when you come to finishing. So you can make your D wire into your comfort fit. Mm -hmm. Very popular um, because it's so comfortable to wear. Yeah, I get that. Get, totally get that. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's an unbelievable yeah, it's deal. Price. Very unbelievable. Price. Again, I'm bringing these in. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Twenty nine ninety nine. We had sixty of them. Um, well done to Tracy and Powers, London, Samantha, Anna, multi buying, Devon, Judith, Cumbria, multi buying, Wendy, Maureen, West Midland, Susan, Buckinghamshire, Mary and Jerry, Shan, Heather, Lynn, multi buying, Merseyside, Marishka, Tracy, Jean, Vanessa, Jane, Dumfries and Galloway. This so the call screens have gone crazy. We only had sixty though. Have we got, oh, well over half the stock, is that right, Ross? Uh, L, there's, yeah, I like it. Ross oh. is like, L, there's less than 10. <laughs> there's less than 10 remain. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, so I tell you what, we'll bring you the, the other project um, in a few moments' time. Let's dive into the demonstration. So basically, it's a, what the f make sure you check out on this one. The D-shaped wire is coming up again. Same length, same settings. They're, they're both lovely to work with, and because they both technically have an edge, it makes your life a lot easier when it comes to putting them all together. And if you want to stack them individually on their own and not solder it together, go ahead. Why not? So the first one I just want to talk to you about is the stone height. So obviously this is a singular one just to show you. So I checked all the stone sizes and this one, I haven't changed the seating, I haven't altered anything. There's nothing um, that I've tweaked to it. I've literally soldered it to a ring shank. Now this stone, one of the stones we have, can you see, it might be better with the front on, can you see that it's literally just a hair above the setting? Yeah. That is perfect. Now if you have a stone that's maybe got a little bit of a chunkier girdle because it's eaten too much at Christmas and what have you. Hey, don't judge. <laughs> you can, yeah, no, me too. <laughs> you can drop the seat down with the setting burr. But to be honest, when I checked every single stone, they were perfect. They were absolutely fine. So I didn't need to modify any of those. So we're going to have to talk about the settings. So how I've done it, I don't know if you can see that. I might actually turn it on its side, you might see that better. Can you see that I've managed to get the setting and it looks like it's incorporated in the ring? So it just, it's seamless, it's not soldered flat on top of it, it's part of the ring. Can you guys see that? Maybe the front one, there yeah. you go. So the, these settings here, you know, they've, they've just seamlessly, and then what happens is, it matches the ring shape. That's amazing. Yeah, so it's comfortable to wear and you don't have, the problem with sometimes setting a stone, so if I soldered my setting just like that, it's quite uncomfortable to wear and there's a good chance that you're gonna make it wonky and knock it off. Oh. Okay, so when we come to modifying these little, I say modifying, it's tweaking really. In fact, Elle, can I pinch your big one, please, that one? Yeah. Thank you. So obviously you're having a look and you're looking for um, the top and the bottom. So you'll see that there's a seat already cut at the top. So what I need you to do is flip it over. Now with your Sharpie or whatever you have, um, I tend to use them a lot in the beginning, but as you get with more practice and you, you find it a little easier, you don't have to use the Sharpies anymore. So I would just mark north and south. Okay, and if it's a little wonky, it doesn't matter because you're going to true that up with your saw blade. Now, all of these little steps are just to get you off the ground running to begin with, but after a while, you don't really need to do this and you can go straight in. So what I would do with these settings, I would hold my saw blade over and find the first one. I wouldn't go straight over the top. 
and do both sides I would just do the one first and you'd make a little nick and then turn it over and line it up again and lay it over and do another little nick now when you do that and if you say so here's one I've nicked earlier one of them's ever so slightly off and what I've done is I'd slipped it they're so small I'm sorry the no, instructions will make I'm it clearer you for on you that screen so that I can see so if you've got one and it's, it looks like it's wandered already, a really nifty way of fixing it is by using a half round file and lean your half round side to the side that you need to nudge it over to, if that makes sense. So I can see, if I lay that down flat, I need to nudge more over to the right, which is here, and I would turn my needle file that way so the half round is pointing to the side that I need to make it wider. And by doing that, it makes your life so much easier when you come to using your half round. So you would use, with your, with your tools that you have, you'd make a little burr and check it and then flip to the other side and do another burr. So with this bigger one, it'll be easier to see. You need to do all your measurements. Now I'll, that's in the instructions for you, so it, it'll give you a, a better idea of what you're doing. Which comes um, free with your kit purchase. Um, it's available on your order history upon dispatch of your project. Definitely. And print them out. It's a great, great idea. Yeah. If you can, print them out. Um, so what I will mention is once you've measured accurately and you're making this empty space to match your ring shank. Let's just lean it up there. I don't mm -hmm. think this will be right. Oh, no, it is. So you're going to keep checking the fit and seeing how well it fits against your ring shank. I'm sorry guys, my fingers. I'm gonna have to make some bigger settings. So you're just going to keep checking. Oh yeah, that's perfect, yeah. Now can you see I've got empty space at the top there. I don't want that. So I still need to keep going and altering to make sure it's a really snug fit. And when it is a snug fit, you'll be able to, now I want to touch about these other settings you've got as well. These were a little bit of a well-kept secret. They've got a halo underneath. We'll talk about that later. Um, once you've finished cutting your um, negative space for your ring shank to run through, you may find that you're putting it on, but it's not quite right. And the reason for that is, is because you're coming in straight. So that's fine, but with your heart, with your D-shaped wire, it's not a full half a circle. It's slightly, it's a D-shape, so it's almost got a flatter top. But also your ring shank is curved. So if you don't curve the cut on the inside so you need to dip towards the, the inside of the setting I suppose my fingers are too big so rather than coming in straight like that you need to come in at an angle because if you don't get that curve it won't sit nicely on your ring and it'll have a funny mm -hmm. seating so you can see one side I've done enough the other side I haven't done very much at all with so these little settings are beauties so when you have, because I can't demo the whole thing here for you, when you've, when you've soldered your um, settings to your ring shanks and you've got three of them and then you've managed to solder your whole piece and then it looks like this, obviously ignore the stone, I just threw that in because it looked a bit boring without it. Um, you'll think, oh my gosh, I've made that, great. There's, I don't know, how many is there? Three, six, seven, eight. I've got nine stones on there that I need to set. Where the heck do I start? Which is a fair point because I, you know, in the beginning when I looked at it, I thought, oh, how do I do that? So with one of these rings, the one that's got the square wire. With the, yeah. Is it that one? Is it that oh, one? yes, it's this one. So you see, I've oh. got, I'm sorry, my love. Yeah, over there so I just can see. There you go. There you are. So nifty little trick which is why Look I like these that. other super settings. So these stones that I've set here, I have set them first, then soldered it to my ring shank. So I can do that because these particular ones are cubic zirconia. I was so going to say you've got melee stones there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, and obviously, if it, depending on what stones you use, you can still set your stone first, then solder it afterwards, but always check what you're working with first. So when you are working with so many settings if you've noticed i have got so with this one here i haven't removed the inside can you see that bar mm -hmm. now i've not removed that bar because i haven't decided what stone i want in there yet so that's staying there for now but with the rounded ones 
I've removed all of that material and I've removed it because it's going to let so much more light in. This uh, chrome dioxide here had so much more colour in because mm. I've removed the empty space. That little one next to it, mm. I haven't done so. So I would maybe use a black yes. stone or a darker stone, so yeah. it doesn't really matter too much. Certain stones do need like an open gallery. Yeah, they from do. From dioxide being one of That's them. That's right. Yeah, yeah it, it just to amplify the beauty. Why, why, why shadow it almost? Yeah. So that's a really straightforward one to do. And you would use um, your drill bit first, and you would burr straight in, and then go back in with your round burr, and make sure you remove any of the um, little lips that you get left behind. So you've got all of that done. Again, at where do we start? So I would actually start with every little setting. This one's down here, and I would do the little one here. Because the problem is once you've set these stones, the bigger ones in the middle, if you did that first and then moved over, when you wiggled in, it would, um, you would you would end up knocking it against the other thing so against the other settings so you'll end up with flat spots and then it's really hard to clean up but that that's all i can share with you right now <laughs> did i did i swear again no you didn't no you didn't no no you didn't um <laughs> oh no way don't you worry. What did I do? No, you didn't do anything, my darling. It's just me. It's, it's Adam. I'm not made for TV. <laughs> it's, it's Adam. Not look Adam. It's, uh, it's not. Look, nobody will believe me when I say that because he does look so angelic, doesn't he? Um, Make me worried it's all, now. No, it's all me, my darling. It's all me. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right then. <laughs> Um, yeah, the play, the silver. The ne play the silver. Don't make me cry. I don't even know why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wicked. You're funny. Um, right then, let's do. Let's do the next. Let's do the next. You are amazing, Charlie. Um, okay, thirty centimeters again. This is the D-shaped. Yes. It's like we said earlier on. It's traditional, isn't it? Could you do? Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Can you wear the D-shape while the other way around? Oh, of course you can. My inlay rings are made like that. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll hollow out the front and have the comfort fit on the back. That's what the comfort fit is, actually. The half round on the it's inside. It's an inverted mm -hmm. D shape. Yeah, and actually, it'll right. make it quite easy for you to set stones into if you wanted to. Does it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So you get your 30 centimeters and you get the same mounts. Mm -hmm. so, uh, one thing I was thinking about how do you sort of make the arrangement? Because I assume you can't just sort of bunch them together. They've got to be arranged, haven't they? They do. Now, the one thing that you do need to be aware of is how close they are. So if you've got all your three rings and they're grouped together, you may find that they kind of overlap So because you've dropped the seat down. Um, what I would do is if you want a wider gap, I don't have one with me, I would, when it comes to soldering, mm. I would slip a... Um, scalpel blade in between so you can have the wider space yeah but you can the arrangement doesn't necessarily have to be methodical you can just lay them out first and almost pretend to make it and you yeah. can draw it out like and arranging plan that a bunch way. of flowers yeah definitely i'm not very good at that no actually. no way. no <laughs> i bet you are though because if you can make jewelry i bet you are good at arranging i'm really good at lots of stuff but not that and yeah. i can't sew either no i can't sew either uh, yeah. i can't either um, okay, let's bring you, so 30 centimetres of your D-shape uh, wire, plus then you get the mounts, which are your tube setting, and they are, how many did you say we got? What was that? Four, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in total. Yeah. All solid sterling silver. Um, we could stop here, couldn't we? That's amazing. I mean... If you, if I was was to stumble across your amazing pieces, Charlie, at some artisanal market, there is no way on earth I would ever expect these to be anywhere near the price that that's on your screen. Oh, the kit prices are absolutely silly sausage out there. I can't, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. No, because there is an awful lot of precious metals with it. And what I will say is, if you can get both kits, because you get so much more. Um, visual effect by combining the half round and yeah. it, it, like like Elle said very cleverly flip it round because you'll actually have lots of different facets that way and it, it will probably be even comfier to wear yeah. they, they slip on like a glove yeah but that comfort fit will definitely add to the whole 
feeling of the elegance and the rain dance. Oh, and it's, the, oh. it's gorgeous. It's actually one of my favourite pieces of jewellery, the rain dance ring. I didn't know what it was until I looked it up and yeah, I thought, Yeah, it's Ooh. lovely. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Uh, 29 99 How many do we have, Roscoe? 80, so it's slightly more plentiful. Oh, but good. again, same instructions come with it because it's the same technique. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Same yeah. technique. Yeah, it applies across all of them. Um, and if you got the kits this morning, they teach yeah. you how to, I'll teach you how to do the beaded setting, which is on the purple one, I think, with the butterfly. Yeah. The middle one. This one? Yeah. So if you got the kit this Hang morning, on, where's the butterfly? you'll be a, just here, if I want, just that. Do you know what that is? It's a space oh. bead. Oh! It's not a charm, it's a space bead. I, I never even there. saw the butterfly. Ah, oh, that's a kaleidoscope, isn't it? A isn't kaleidoscope it? of colour. Charlie, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. We have got loose stones to bring you as well that will mm. go with Charlie's um, tube sets. Some so lovely gemstones. Are they easy to set them in these tubes? Oh, gosh, yeah. Very easy. It's just so straightforward. So if you've um, got your gem setting kit, if you've got a bezel pusher, um, the, these sorts of ones where it's got mm. a hollow space, if you've got them, you'll bash it off really quickly because it is really straightforward. Um, and what I would do, let me just grab my little pusher out of this one. When I've got lots and lots of settings on the go like that, and mm. if I line up all my stones in place, you're thinking, why the heck would you put them all in there in one go? Because you can lock them in place all at the same time to speed the process up. So you would left, right, or north, south, however you want to say it. And then again in the middle, left, right, lock that into place. Don't close all the way down onto the stone just enough to make it not move yeah so then once you've done that you can then go back and use your uh, bezel pusher the rounded ones with the concave tip and you can go over now when you use them i would first do a quarter turn to the right and lift off it doesn't look like i've lifted off the work but i'm applying no pressure and then i would do another quarter turn to the right and then the wobble okay because when you do if you do a right left right left right left the metal doesn't know where it's smooshing so try and go the same way every time and you'll get yeah. a higher yeah, end yeah, finish yeah. You're, you're, you're almost undoing it yeah that's the Aren't thing you? it's like confusing it like which way are we going yeah and then if you have a pointed um um pointed burnisher mm. you can just run around the inside of your gemstone just a simple there we go so just a simple, no, I'm not applying loads of pressure, it's just to run around the edge. And that'll give you a pretend, um, I've forgotten what it's called now, uh, bright cut finish, which is what you do with an engraver. So you would actually remove the material, just a slither, and that helps bounce light back in the stone. But by using a pusher, you're going to be able to do that like a master would, but without the risk of digging into your stone or ruining your setting or anything. Yeah, we so. don't want that, do we? No, no, no. But these stones that we've got, they're all a lovely hardness, so you'd have a hard job breaking them anyway, but there's enough in these packs that you can practice till your heart's content. Yes, absolutely. Well, speaking of, let's do the stone, shall we? Um, okay, so we have... Which one do you want to do first? The citrine, big citrine, or big? Is that amethyst? Let's do the one with the citrine, because I know which one it is. here on the sample. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. It's even got Wayne's name on it. <laughs> Wayne's name? It's got Wayne's name. Wayne's world. <laughs> it is a party time in there. Um, a few messages, Charlie, coming through <laughs> to the studio. Charlie, you are amazing, Aww. and so is your jewellery, says Thanks, Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Yeah, um, agreed. North Yorkshire saying amazing, helpful tips, Charlie. Can't wait to get this project home and work through the instructions. Thank you, Al and the Jewelry Maker team once again. Ah, oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, Isabel, I love the way that square wire and D-wire hugs and doesn't slip. Yeah, good point. Well said, Flower. That's yeah. exactly it. And it's really nice to work with. You know, your round wire does, it's quite tricky to work with sometimes, but having that slight edge will make life so much easier. I guess it's probably easier to hold, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. And yeah. when it comes to the, the instructions, explain more. But when you come to putting the three together, yeah. having that, that is like a guideline, really. And you once you put them together, you know where you're filing. Mm. The instructions will explain more. Oh, perfect. And you get that again with your project uh, purchases. 
So within this, you get a, pretty much a carrot of your beautiful multicolored gemstones. Um, what's it from two millimeters to six millimeters? You can see the collection there. Um, a pack of four essentially, but again, I mean, multi buy. If you've bought maybe both the oh. kits, you'll need to multi buy a couple of these. But yeah. but my goodness me, it's so worth it. All those colours. Definitely. And you'll have once you've set one stone, you'll have so many more to play with. You'll, yeah. The world's your oyster with it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, worth five pound per stone. I mean, look at that citrine. Look how beautiful that citrine is. It's a beauty. It certainly is. But we're not stopping there going even lower we've got a hundred available opportunities so the opportunities without these you couldn't make your rain dance rings you need the you need the calibrated stones don't yeah, you yeah these stones fit the settings beautifully like I, I, I couldn't i couldn't fault them i didn't have to tweak any settings at all yeah not for the seats anyway slots I did the in perfectly <laughs> yeah. slots in perfectly and that's what the, the the rain dance is all about it's colorful isn't it yeah i know they do them in diamonds as well but they do them in the color gems i don't know which one came first but um we're 9.99 that's awesome isn't it oh gosh yeah i mean you guys blow me away with prices every time it's almost annoying <laughs> how about two pound per stone then oh really just to really press your buttons whoa why not why not go for it? It's all right. It's nearly home time. I can vent in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what are they thinking? <laughs> Two pounds a stone. <laughs> yes, an answer. Yeah, we <laughs> definitely are. We've got a hundred of these available. Um, again, perfectly calibrated. Um, the quality of the stones that we're bringing here, you know, they're all. I mean, look at that aquamarine. That's amazing. That aquamarine. Oh, they're eye clean. They're cut beautifully. They're just exquisite i can't fault them if i if i had something negative to say i would tell you and i'd probably get told off for it but i don't no you can see that quality can't you look at there's the aquamarine right there oh i'm loving these absolutely loving these seven pounds and 99 pence we had a hundred of them another message coming through for you charlie farm is that karen um i love those rings charlie you have inspired me to take the step into silversmithing oh, congratulations Amazing. honestly you love it it yeah. just opens up so many doors and it doesn't matter what your medium is you can combine it with silver smithing i really love the idea of beading and smithing slam those two worlds together and can you imagine the pieces you could make i'm rubbish at beading and i'm not even going to bother trying It'd be a waste of time but if you want to give it a go this is a really good project it's going to help you with your accurate cutting mm. it's going to help you with your marking it's going to help you understand thing another thing quickly about soldering if you're using soldering um sheet like i do don't leave your solder next to where you're soldering i know that sounds really strange doesn't it but say you've got your sheet here and you pop it to one side and you're soldering the heat is going to oxidize your silver strip your solder strips so what i would do is pop it to one side because there's only two reasons why solder doesn't flow it's contamination and oxidation oxidation and um it won't flow over non-metallic surfaces so keep it clean when you cut a nice clean strip of your solder always use sandpaper first then solder because if you've oxidized your, your solder it'll never flow and you will always have problems with it so just bear in mind once you've taken your little snips off pop it to one side don't put it next to your work wow top tips there um you've got another message coming through charlie and this was from hertfordshire hello hertfordshire um charlie i've never done any sil silver soldering before um i'm a complete novice can you tell me which wire is easier to use the square or the d cut good question uh for this project i would go with the d because with the square wire you'll either do it one or two ways you'll either make a square space on your setting or you'll make a almost like a straight incision on your square wire to allow for the setting which then you also have to curve as well so i would say start with your half round but don't be frightened of your square they're gorgeous charlie they're absolutely gorgeous thank you Thank you. I hope that I hope that helps. It just meant shock me a message. It's a great question. Yeah, look at that. And you think, oh my goodness me, how much that would be if you were looking in something like booty? I haven't actually put my spreadsheet up yet because I thought I'm going to price that up and see how much it'd be, Mister. So yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that one. Yeah, it, definitely. What the cheap? 
No, well, I could, and understandably so. Um, okay, let's now bring you the other collection of your beautiful multicolored gemstones. Um, Multi-buy on these. They're beautifully cut, amazing quality stones. Again, oh my goodness. So you have within this, gosh, is that? Look at this. Is that a specitite? Wait, is it garnet? Might be garnet. What size? Pessonite, maybe. There's your oh, it's aquamarine three, though, that? and the colourless topaz. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. We can do that lovely little melee topaz. Yeah, so inside you have a carrot of your stones, which includes black spinel, garnet. It is garnet. I think that's a hessonite. Sky blue topaz, I beg your pardon. And what, sorry? And white topaz. But I've been mixing all of these together, don't you think? Yeah, if you can stock up, stock up. Yeah. I mean, the prices are just nonsensical anyway, aren't they? But yeah. it just gives you, it offers you more chances for error, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Loving that. And it's a full carrot of as well. £7.99 pence only. Unbelievable. I think this could be like a, um, a well, you know, you were saying about your hoop earrings. Mm. I reckon this will be a big, oh yeah, a big hit. Yeah, because they are stunning. Well, you could stagger stunning. it, couldn't you? You could have one bigger, then a slightly smaller, then a slightly smaller, all in one oh. hoop, couldn't you? So that that'd be quite nice. Beautiful. Yeah, and if you wanted to do that at home to get that angle, just slip a uh, scalpel blade in between your two hoops, so it raises it, or keeps them separate, because obviously oh, you can, it's trickier to do when it's yeah. So creating that kind of layer. Mm unbelievable seven pounds and 99 pence again the phone lines have gone completely crazy um so you get your instructions keep your messages coming through we've got a couple of minutes is it maybe um between the top of the show so if you've got any questions for our lovely charlie it's been such fun today such fun um we've had a giggle we have had a giggle it's been a day full of goodies hasn't it yeah it's been busy as well and i always learn something i can't guarantee it stays in there but i do always learn something well when I'm with you. we should we can say exactly the same <laughs> i absolutely always learn something too charlie it's been wonderful Good. um now coming up uh, this weekend is all about rarity weekend so okay. we've got the biggest pills that jewelry maker has ever ever sold in our 14 years just a final recap on today there is an extremely limited opportunity on today's deal of the day. So the, the amazing um, Van Cleef and Arpels inspired. Uh, if you don't get them in silver, I will grab uh, Yeah, me too. I really yeah, like we those. Thought they sold out. Yeah. Um, okay, oh. there's single figure quantities. Okay. Right, so um, it was the lowest price. 62 people still have it in their basket. So that's five pound per, moti uh, per motif. You've got your Onyx and you've got your Chalcedony framed in 925 sterling silver. I mean, you only need to car. add a class then. Oh yeah, well that's it, yeah. Or an ear hole. Job yeah. done. Yeah. Gorgeous. And that's the lowest price we believe that we've ever been on a Van Cleef and Arpels inspired clover piece. Um, so you can still get it just, it has been busy. Tomorrow, we have, look at this, your satellite spaces. That's a first. I'm excited sterling silver satellite spaces we've got all three colors and then you've got an amazing project with a lovely debbie kershaw with black jadeite um, which by the way is guatemalan type a black jadeite your deal of the day the launch of your sky mountain quartzite jade with lovely dave troth excited about that another launch is your colour change Australian opal? I'll be watching that. Very excited, mm. always a popular stone. And then we have um, Yoko of London inspired the purple coloured nucleated pearl oh. projects. The pearls are amazing, by the way, with what our lovely day. Debbie. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be unbelievable. It's all high end this weekend, and it started today. Um, you're awesome. When are you back with us? Uh, I think I might be popping in at the beginning of next month and then back at the end of the month. Amazing. I'll see you in the morning. Have a lovely afternoon. This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked 
for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker.